John Hall. I'm here. here. I'm here today. <laughs> You're here early tonight. <laughs> I broke on top. And you look fresh, man. Thank you. Yeah. How are you doing, man? So listen, this is a big week, man, and a big show tonight. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I think not only me, but a lot of people were counting down this this, this show for tonight, man. Um, I've, I've gotten so many calls this week about this show. Uh, <laughs> more calls than I've ever gotten before. Um, people message me, you know, um, you got the boss on the show. Uh, yes. the legend, you know. Yes. You know, and it, and it goes on and on and on. Uh, what's your week been like, man? Anderson. My week has been brilliant. I am, this show seems to be gathering so much momentum that um, I'm hearing from some old friends from Canada that really, you know I mean, it's, it's, it's really, I don't know, man. I, I can't explain it because these people I haven't seen since I left Canada and now with this show, it seems that we're all in the loop again, you know what I mean? And, I don't know. I, I hope everything continues to, to go as, as planned as we do every week. Have a great show. And with Mr. Husband tonight, no doubt about it. I think this is this is gonna be the bomb tonight. Yeah, I, I really hope so, man. Uh I'm I'm a little bit uh jittery uh because I'm I'm anticipating uh stories, I'm anticipating some stuff. Uh you know I me, mean? I like the drama sometimes, but you know, I still like all the the greatness that comes with greatness that present us, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I guess people are waiting and people want to hear the man himself. So um, I think, think we should introduce him the proper way. Um, do you want to do this? I mean, you've known him longer than I've known him for like five minutes. You've known him for a very long time. So, <laughs> well, I bring him. listen, I know Patrick from time was a little kid. Okay. Given a lot of trouble. In hearts gap getting me in trouble with the police and all kind of foolishness like that i mean we go back that far and it's an honor you know what i mean to see how he's done in his career seen it from the start till now i mean there's many years that he's um being he's been ruling in, in canada wherever he goes i should say so yeah let's let's get this going man yeah, I, you know what, just before, can you spare two minutes, Patrick? And can you spare two minutes, Sean? Because I got a special little thing from one of our one of our guys and somebody who just want to say a thanks and somebody who, who also want to, uh, you know, just get on the show and, and make it pop into. So mm -hmm. that being said, I'm just going to play this. You're watching the Hall and Haley show. The guest tonight is Sir Patrick Husbands. I want to say Thank you to Mr. Husbands himself, career wins 3,508. This is one of them. Thank you and good night to you guys. Up. On their way, fire emoji got out well, Burmese best into stride. And coming through is humorous holiday on the inside as they settle Pagoda Ridge the Utter. And in between horses, Kerex Beauty and Umniat. And there's little between first to last in the early part. And uh, Chasing Shadows is at the back by a length to fire emoji. And Kerex Beauty just ahead away is uh, ahead of Umniat. Umniat saved ground behind them Burmese. Chasing Shadows needs room but is coming through well. And Pagoda Ridge is last. Fire emoji lays down the gauntlet to Humorous Holiday. And clearing now Chasing Shadows is coming after them. Umniat's had a decent run. They turn. Humorous Holiday got away. Umniat off the inside to challenge. And down the set of Kerex Beauty Chasing Shadows. And fire emoji but Umniat's burrowed through to hit the front chasing shadows down the outside it's now Umniat in clear and humorous holiday in second but Umniat is going to break the ice in very fine style on the main track Umniat and Patrick Husbands by two and a half second humorous holiday ahead away third chasing shadows then Kerrick's beauty race time 125 23 Patrick, welcome to the show, my brother. Welcome, See Patrick. Greetings. See those greetings? Let me, let me take the mask off, man. You know, <laughs> in the pandemic here, no. You know the pandemic here. 
you know the plan. Them, that, hey, God. that was a real Bajan <laughs> connection there, just now. Hold on, Sean. Let me sanitize. Let me sanitize. Let me sanitize, Sean. You sanitize it too? <laughs> 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 That's a real Bajan thing. That's a real Bajan thing. That's a real thing, yeah, boy. That connection there. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. See this greetings. Pandemic is over. Let me move on in life. <laughs> That's brilliant. Man. Welcome, Sean, welcome, to Sean, Sean, welcome to the show, man. Welcome to the show. Hold on, don't go too far. I got my Hennessy here. Look. Sean, what are you drinking, Sean? Oh, cheers. Cheers. Um, oh, well, let me cheers, cheers with my, 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 uh, yeah. my drink. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, cheers. 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 Have a good night. Have a good night. To you and everybody, the man that can't mm. pour, or the woman that can't pour. <laughs> So how how do we start this show? I mean, we talk about, about legends, we talk about all kind of people. Sean, did you know that Patrick himself is a Hall of Famer? Yes, I Hall do. of Famer in the, the the city of Brampton, mm -hmm. Ontario, Canada, and also right. Barbados Sports, a Barbados Turf Club. Man, that is that is amazing, isn't it? Very much so, but. What we like to start with Patrick tonight, because as you know, this is his journey. Be yeah, sure you got about track, Sean. Go back. You got about track. I must start. Yeah, you got me back tracking. Yeah, yeah, Hall of Fame. But you know this this interview here is pretty interesting. I hear you just yes, say. Uh, I hear you just yes, just say um, Hall of Fame at Brampton, BSS, Barry Service Star. But you don't, you don't put. Um, walk of fame, a sick case hospital. No, I did not. I was, I, I was saving up, up. Mm -hmm. All right, sorry, I uh, don't, don't, don't be bad. Here. No, but you know, here, this is about Pat here. This is about Patrick yeah, Husband, and we're gonna let Patrick said, Husband do a lot of talking, of course. Mm. But you said sick case hospital, but listen, we have two sick case hospitals in Toronto, well, which is right, 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 yes, yes. What a fame, not Hall of Fame. Yes. What a fame, yes. So, there are two yes. hospitals attached nearly to one another. Mm -hmm. And when you walk to the door, you see the little, the little dark little kid, which you don't want to the N word from Barbados. As you walk to the door, you see a big picture of Patrick donating a lot of money to the sick kids, you know, sick kids hospital of Canada. About 16 years, yes. six, about 20 years, but the last. 14 years walk of fame sick kids hospital absolutely yeah. brilliant man uh patrick you're a, a true community person man who always giving back because i heard of all the stories i just hear them i never get an invite i just hear all these stories man and um it's absolutely wonderful man for, for a guy who started in barbados started you know with a dream but I want you to tell us about that dream and how, you know, I, Leroy came on the show, your agent, and he told us about how you would ride cows. Is this true? I write anything coming up, yeah. <laughs> but we started, Leroy, um, we started with Daisy. We had a donkey there. Daddy had a donkey there. Oh, we started with Daisy. Uh, you know, as people say, uh, generation has gone on. They ain't got nothing like a donkey. My donkey ain't moving. You could bring a bull cow. You could bring anything a donkey ain't moving. So Daisy needs to give you a little rice, but when Daisy gets stubborn, we're going to flank. So we get Daisy cantering. And you know what we know? We go and see who can ride the shortest. So we go on at number not. And when you ah, take the bricks, oh, we go and flank. Next rider, next rider. So oh, we start on Daisy. <laughs> Listen. Patrick, you, you're a true rock star. I remember we had this conversation, and somebody, was it you, Sean? I was like, there's a bunch of jockeys from Barbados who are pretty good, right? But, you know, there's one that stand out, and that's Patrick Husband. And I'm like, so if all these guys are, are good who are from Barbados, then who, like, what is Patrick like in Barbados? And Sean, do you remember what you told me? Um... I, did I say a rock star? I don't know. I can't remember what I said. Nah, it but, wasn't that. It wasn't that. You said Patrick is Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, Patrick, what do you say? True. Patrick, what do you say about that, man? <laughs> but listen, let me back it up. Let me back it up, right? <clears throat> 
my goal after getting hurt all the time, but I don't really want to get that. I want y'all to ask me the questions. But I was want to go to Canada, make my money fast, because I had a, a vision, come back and start a writing school to make Barbadians proud that who come behind me did it, um, do better than me. And I get stick writing up there, writing up there, writing up there. And now it's my opportunity to come back home to get these guys rolling. There's a lot of things that these guys don't know that I can't wait to share. But I try not to buy him. Y'all ask me these questions, and we can go from there. Well, all right. I, I well, wanted... Let me start. Go let ahead. me start the ball rolling because I want to find out from you. You started very young in this business. I, I knew. You. How? Tell me how it was starting in Barbados, being poor. You were the last of all the children to get where you are right now. I mean, what do you have to do? Because don't forget, I want young people to know in Barbados that part your husband wasn't just, he just didn't follow his sky. You know what I mean? You started at the bottom of the barrel. The bottom yeah, of the barrel. Yeah, Sean, my, daddy had, you, are right you now. know, yeah, daddy had eight of four boys, four girls. <clears throat> and I was latch on on my dad. My my last little sister, she she she's about seven years behind me. So so I could also I was the last at the time. And my there's so much history behind my dad. He, he was he was he was not a top right. He was I think it's even one race, but they no prove about that. But let me get the point. My father was the first guy in Barbados that I've had a writing school in Barbados for the tourists. And I only know this, he never told me this, but down on the West Coast, um, there's husband's gap. And back in the days when there was um, naming the gaps, there was who lived to the bottom of the gap. There was naming the streets after. So, so if you go down the West Coast of Barbados, and you see husband's gap. You see the name of, um, the name of uh, a gap after Patrick, husband's. No, 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 no. It's named after my grandmother. So I just give you all the history about that. So that's how it was named in the gaps. So my dad had three stalls in the back there and he had a tourist on the beach. Unfortunately, my dad met uh, my mom and three other sisters, which are called a Barbadian wife. And my grandmother and, and my father, brother, they moved to the United States of America and uh, they leave my dad there and the maid and um, when I leave the dad and the dad of my maid, um, when they moved, when he, when my grandmother and her son moved, because it was only two kids, mm -hmm. um, my dad met my mom in Hearts Gap. Yeah, he sold the horses. I only know this story to Mr. Williams, which is why my adopted dad, Carl Williams. Carl okay. said he buy all the tap from my dad and the horses, the three horses he had there. And my dad got a job with, um, out in Flint Hall. So he was managing Flint Hall. And the history going on from there, Sean, I got one for you. Uh -huh. David C's first horse he bought was from Flint Hall. Uh -huh. David C's told me this here. This is the stories passing on because my dad never passed these stories to me. David C's first horse, my dad met him by it. And the horse can beat me or you. A rap. <laughs> David C's told me this here, right? <laughs> Ricky Griffith's dad called Goffy Griffith now. This is the first thing you're going to hear this year. Goffy gave me this story. He went out to Flink Hall and he went there. So, Mr. Husbands, I want to learn it right. He so said, get a pick fork and start mocking stalls. This is what Goffy told me now. Yeah. And Goffy learned to write on my dad, Sean. That's something you know, learn. Yes, I didn't know. Uh, that, so that means, that's how we that means that's how we with proverbs this with proverbs right? yes my proverbs yes. yes my dad was running yes. running that plantation and there was bought the first horse and that is rare goffy griffith coming to horse and, and that's how goffy told me how he learned to write so i just they're telling you the generations coming down etc etc and goffy's learning to write there oh ricky 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 if goffy was a jockey ricky would be living and uh, chris would be living neither <laughs> so that's a look little history there right so you know how it is etc etc so my daddy griffith taught me that i was like and david C's teach me that and cow teach me that 
you know, the history keep going on and going on and going on and going on. But if you ask anybody, if Wall has was a Juka jockey, the boy can't answer that. But I got a little news for you. He breed the best silly that barbers ever see. Who's that? What was that? Bonnie Light. Bonnie Light. Okay. My dad brought the cub beat money light and then she went to Trinidad and then yeah. Sir Chandler Jones called my dad and asked him. Unfortunately, he didn't have the money because Grand Grand went to United States of America and he had the money. And Mr. Pierce, Tommy Pierce, which is my adopted dad, his father who paid for Bonnie Light to go to Trinidad on the boat. And then unfortunately, things went wrong from there. My father horse gets sell about three times, but I ain't really want to get into that. I ain't really know the truth about that, but the horse gets sell about three times. And then Tommy Pierce, dad, get back the horse, et cetera, et cetera. So I remember my dad told me this year that Charlie Jones called him one day to ride the horse in Trinidad. And he told Charlie Jones, you feel like you're blasted, right? <laughs> <laughs> but if you ask Uncle Charlie now, which is my, what, what my fathers do. He would tell that same story. When they call, when they get hold of Mr. Husbands, you know, back in the day, they had the phone. So he probably meet him pers uh, person to person. Mm -hmm. My father said, if they can't write, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So that's how the story went down. So y'all can move on again. Bonnie Light. <laughs> Ask anybody, Google Bonnie, Bonnie Light. Light. The best fleet ever left Barbados. Definitely will do that. There. Definitely will do that, my brother. <laughs> But how so the little history you there. Started? How did you get started writing and stuff? Like, um, it started at home. Did you go to uh, stables and that kind of stuff? No, daddy had daddy had pigs. Well, unfortunately, um, as I say, his mom was, had a little, had a little bit of cash, and um, I can give a little about history. Chief education in the Barbados, Ralph Boys. His mom adopt. His mom, my dad's mom, adopted him from a baby from the hospital. Okay. And, and he was chief education in the Barbados for over 30 years or 35 years, rap boys. So he become one of the family, but he didn't have the husband's name. And um, daddy had a pig, sheep, goat, everything. And every animal that you could think about, we had. Pig, sheep, goat, everything we had for the Fridays. We had to go and kill pigs at three different places for Sahadas. You know, we had markets in Barbados. And back in the days, it's not like now how you're going to market. So you had to go in the little village. village. So we had the first Avenue Harris Gap, which is Charles Hurley. We had by Wonders. And then we had Sterling. We used to kill pigs by his grandfather. So that was in the middle of Harris Gap. So the three places that me, Simon, and Anthony, not the girls, we had to go and share the pigs and then back in the days as you the killer all you get is a throat and a little crackling you know what i'm saying so that's i remember that i remember that yeah, yeah 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 so we had as i say we had we had daisy we start on daisy and then we had a um a gal in my dad had there called apollo when apollo get warmer apollo around with everybody so we none of we can write apollo apollo no i remember when i was a writer and one morning, I tell a story all the time about you because you won two races at Woodbine with no, no, your feet out the stirrups. And you know, I mean, that's unheard of for writers. Most writers, when they get in that position, they pull up and they, some even jump off and all kind of foolishness. But you were beautiful, right? Too. Time, no, but you were writing bareback by the time you were a little boy. You know what I mean? I remember one morning about quarter six. I heard you, well, I heard the, the hooves of a horse on the road blazing. <laughs> you came up. But Sean, has, but Sean has standard, or Sean. Let me tell you something. But right? that one, <clears throat> yeah, tell me. So we, tell me what those days, We go man. back. We go back. We, when we go back. Mm -hmm. And this is what got me a little bit mad. I, I saw a little interview with my brother from Jamaica about three, three days ago, four days ago, and it just yeah. hit. It hit the roof and and i respect people but say what you have to say but say the right way hmm. daddy had pig sheep goat everything right um simon again he taught me to write oh my god and everybody who raised with me they are wood by race track right now the the writers everybody would buy race track prince pouchy silk 
everybody. You know, we had the whole. So, class, wait, you're, class. you're you're disputing that now? Are you disputing that he taught you to write? Sean, Sean, this come out of Jamaica about three days ago. It's all over the website right now. He taught me to write. <laughs> Sean, come on, Sean. Simon never. Simon's husband's never had a heart. His heart was fearless. Simon, et cetera, et cetera. The, the, the best thing that happened with Simon was when he went to Jamaica, et cetera, et cetera. And the only thing he ever come back is from my father funeral. So he left Barbados when he was 16 years old, right? When he went to Jamaica, when um, the J Jamaican horse come from the Gold Cup. The, the, the atmosphere in terms of me coming up, we had Daisy, we had Apollo. We can write Apollo. Apollo was too tough for me. Then Anthony, Anthony get a horse there from German Reed. And um, had a little bad knee. He was one of the favorites for the 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 Barbados Derby and it blew the He gave from Charlie. So German sell my brother Anthony a horse called Dividend. So Anthony don't want me to say my right. Anthony don't want me to say my right it. I already want to go there. So Anthony gets like said, get rid of Dividend. Then Simon went by so we knew so I always go by Uncle Chalana, which is Chalana Jones. Now, Uncle Chalana, we up there riding the horses, everything, da 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 da, da. And they always make me a scapegoat because I never had a heart. And so Pouchy, Sil, all of them so put me on anything because I got to start everything. But you know, I was young, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So cut the story is um, um, Uncle Chalana, her daughter, Suzanne, she moved back to, she moved to Jamaica, to Trinidad. And she gave my brother the one eye horse, called Uncle Chalana and said, take it from here. And she gave Simon the horse, a one eye pony. And then everybody start riding it. So Simon, no, let, let me ride the pony, his little pony. So when he at home- Is that Mary Lays? Mary, Mary Lays. Lays. I, I, I got it from the one, a foot blast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got his tongue hanging out his mouth. Blah, blah, blah. Because we could see eye to eye. So Simon get his license now, and then my oldest brother Anthony. I will never forget this day. And I'm no, sorry, Uncle da uh, David. David asked my brother Simon he want to bet. My dad he turned my dad down. Then my brother David he asked him to bet for me. So I was the only boy left standing. And Simon gave it away for a round sheet. I never forget this day. Simon gave away the horse for a round sheet. And then my dad went get me dividend from Ram from um um. The guy there, oh boy, Rasali. Um, I get get dividend, get the story mm -hmm. short, and um, all of me, all of me, so right dividend, etc. And then I end up getting my license. But before I get my license, Hayden Hayden Nichols get a hard time in getting my license. He went, to, I didn't know this here. He went to Charlie Jones. He went to everybody who could not get my exit license because you know I was just four. Just, just four foot six, two pounds. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. daddy try and the boy give my license. So he had to know. You know the saddest man. The saddest try to get my license. Man. That's my main man. Right, the saddest. How old was at that get, time? I was no getting ready to hit 14. But I was under four pounds. I was under four feet. And he had to try to get my license. He had to make everybody. Chandler Jones, about five of them who was given license. And they were giving me license. And they finally gave me license. And then I, uh, sorry, they would give me license. Here, they try everything. So then they, they tell here, then they give me license. So and then I went down by Cove. I went down by Cove. And here, they tell me, let me carry these yearlings over to the next part up where they got grass. I said, Daddy told me, do not walk no here. No, don't walk, no, don't go interfere with no young horses. And here, they said, don't worry, you're going front. And I, I was scared. I look at the horse and, and the horse will not look at me. The horse will not move. And here they said, don't look at the horse. I met one step. When I went one step, this thing passed me so hard, the horse kicked back and broke my hand. And I was on the ground, blah, 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 blah. So the next morning, my, my, I went home. My dad iced my hand. I went for license. The next morning, my hand was broken. So I got my license. So I start horse racing wrong with a broken hand. So when I take my cast off, about five weeks later, I went to Sir Chalana, so I got my license. And he said, don't go back down there. This but Sir Chalana joins me, don't go back down there. But I didn't know the history about how it, the, nobody would want to give me no license. I had them all out to get my license. 
I know I tell here that I got out there anymore. You know what I'm saying? And and uh-huh. it was but I, at the time you don't know. So when I come back, I was there right for chat. Uncle Charlie, uh, he gave my so, first wait, winner. Did that cause did that cause trouble between you and Hayden? No, 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 because I don't know what's going on. I just say here okay. I ain't gonna know anymore. I wanna be a jockey. But I only mm-hmm. noticed in the past as time going on and on. And you know when you make it, everybody just wanna hear your stories. But if you don't make it, nobody don't wanna hear your stories. You know what I'm saying? So that is mother nature and this is life that we have to live with. We can't change it, Sean. But you know what? He didn't he didn't start his little guy's career. So I am I'm, I'm happy to hear that you were one of them too. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this backtrack, you know. Um I say how to help that with the cows, the cows, the pig, the sheep, and the goat. So when Simon do this interview and see him somebody the cows before he go to school, he might kill the, he might kill the sheep and the pig and the goat. But when it kind of milking, it was part of your husband. So daddy has <laughs> taught me everything. So I had a whole of hearts, got days, George, some at eight years old, Prince Paris, everybody. So help me kill the milk to everybody. I was a milker. I just backtracking with the interview that Simon has put over the internet that he needs some milk cow. Simon know how right, milk listen, cow. Listen. It's safe to say then that you brothers are right. The competition between you guys are, are it's very strong. Seems like I mean, it. Um, it started it started for Anthony. Anthony get rid of his horse. No, let me say my right. Simon get rid of his horse. Simon get rid of his one pony. Uh-huh. And then Daddy had to get me run free. You understand what I'm saying? So it was very stiff. I say my I, first right. I, I try to, I try to, I, I try to burst the hate so you don't point a helmet. <laughs> it's like, after this interview, I get the feeling, right, Sean and Patrick, that Samuel is gonna do another interview and there's gonna be another one. <laughs> gonna no, be another no, one. no, 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 no. He would never come up. He would never come. I, I'm a big man. He would never come at me. He like he feel like when he do the interview in Jamaica, it would never left Jamaica. Mm. <laughs> when I saw that interview three days ago, I said it. That, everybody that he wears it around oh my god it, it wasn't easy because at the end of the day not because you're a patrick has that you're speaking out but them things hurt Samuel Lee barbers when he was 16 years old i never returned to his dad funeral so how you think yeah, so you taught your little brother all right let me let me, let me start right then what's the relationship between you and simon because you're going after simon very cruel no, because Sean, I'm going out. This this show is not about saying my husband. This show is about how people went over the border and make it. And says this is not about yeah. Sean. This 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 little conversation just here come up, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't All want right, a boy so feel that I don't like Simon. It's it's All that right. little interview but there I that we did. I, I just want to make sure that that's not the case. That's all. Yeah, but you don't. I understand your point, Sean. But I don't want a boy feel that. We come through the same mom, the same dad, et cetera, et cetera. But don't, don't go there and tell them people you, t- you taught me the right man. It's, I'm a big man. He's a big man. It's, you know, and you know, I mean, it's about the future. Don't, 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 don't step me in them corns. But well, I don't, first of all, I don't watch first, first of all, this is how many great ones you won? How many gold cups? How many? The list goes on. I can, I can pull the list right here, which I will do through the show because there's quite there's so many patches i can't i don't even know where to start like i got tired the other night trying to get video trying to get more footage you you uh, i'll tell you something right now sean and patrick you are the only person that come on this show so far that i've worn me out before i even talking to you because it, there's been so much history so much video so much accomplishments so much so much that I am absolutely exhausted right now. But you know what? I had a coffee earlier and I'm ready to go. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but Sean, Sean, let me tell you this. Right? I get offered books, so many books, right? Mm-hmm. I can't do it when I write it. You I have to do two steps at a time. The mm-hmm. the original, original horse racing and the the bumpy rough roads that mm-hmm. you know that everybody face every day even like you you know you got three hordes there you take one of these three hordes can't lose the next morning we go on there one got diarrhea one got temperature and one got both <laughs> you know, it's so much a tin line right? yes, yes. it's so much horse racing is a tin line 
You got a horse perfect when it go on the gates. It could be eight years old. Go on the gates, get off, bring it down, flip off. Okay. Scratch it. Is look, yeah. let me tell horse racing. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you gotta love it. It have to be embedded in you to love the sport. What and keeps you, you coming it. back for more? What keeps you wanting to do it? Because you were on the verge of retiring at the end of last year. And you're back again. What keeps Pat, your husband, wanted to do this over and over every year? Hit me. I thought that was a part of closing the show, though, Sean. No, I, I, I'm not going to say no how to coffee. I'm not going to say no how to coffee. And you, no. you, I ain't sure already. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. No, Sean, you're going too hard. My show, you're going too no. hard, though. Sean, you're going too jump. hard. Hit me. Hit me. Yeah, Just hit me. My, I, I got jumping on your webs. I thought I was closing oh. the show. Let's Listen, talk about that later, then. Let's talk about that, that later. Not too early. Not too early, Sean. That definitely too early. early. Not too early. Oh, so you, too early. So you Sean. want to have a closer then? All right. If you want to have a, a big closer finish. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know Patrick, yeah. Patrick, 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 of all my other guests I had, you're the only one that don't sleep. Okay? <laughs> oh, you know what I said, man? Because we used to sleep at 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning all the time. So that, so that means that you don't sleep you also. Sleep. You don't sleep also, Sean. <laughs> He's the only person. Sean, I further more guess I ice too. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only guy that could call me at two and three o'clock in the morning. And I would answer because I said it was only one, but it called me that hour. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that that's but that Sean, but you gotta understand, right? Uh-huh. When you have the love for a sport mm. and you wanna make it to the top. I I don't have nothing going for me. I got to take right. all the shortcuts. So you could go to university and learn to be a mason. And then the first project you go up and you're doing it the way how you learn from university, right? Correct. But there's 34 different ways of shortcuts that, right? And it takes you years to learn that shortcut. And mm -hmm. I always about shortcuts to, to, to be successful as a jockey. Mm -hmm. all and right. when I was in Barbados coming up, Uncle Chaloner Jones, he, he retired probably 78 or 79. And I was about six, seven years old. And I'd still like to see he watch. And I'd still like to see he on hot chair. He retired in 81. I rode with him. Yeah, 81, right. So I just, I just, I don't know what year it was. It was sorry, grandfather. Early. Sorry, sorry, grandfather. Sorry, grandfather. So, um, so wasn't Chaloner in horse racing? There was only two. Major people like Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods. I just call them names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, et cetera. And I always wanted to be a champion. And Daddy always say, you can be a champion. You can be a champion. And you're the youngest. You're supposed to be the smartest. And I don't understand it. How you can be last and you're supposed to be smart. See, so you're going you're gonna to watch everybody and you're going to understand it as years are going on. And I take my hat off to my father. So coming up, I watch Uncle Chaloner. I watch Venice Richards. So I always say when I got my license, I want me next to Venice. And I wanted to put a new jockey room, I went next to Venice. And I try to pick him every day. He might don't say nothing. Yeah, so I want to learn to move my left hand. He don't say a word, a word, a word. It's a boy, a daddy. I stayed at him till he moved to Trinidad. And then I, when I went to Canada, I went next door to Todd Cable. The champion, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but as, let me backtrack a little, uh, uh, Todd. So, coming up here in Barbados, and I can show the rooks. Um, Uncle Chaloner gave my first winner. He gave my first ride to fall off. As we leave the gates, I was too light. I fall off. My brother, it was a apprentice race. My brother threw my dad's head off. My dad said, Don't worry, you worry about yourself. He can be a champion. And Three races later, oh, I won my first race on a horse called My Way. And my brother, Anthony, within a year, he moved to Canada. And then Simon was gone. So I had no help here. So I said to Daddy, that was 89. So I said, Daddy, I want to go train that, man. I want to go train that. And my dad said, oh, he can work, he can work, he can work his way out to get me to train that. And um, so I was 16, so I had my license at 14, so 89, so 16, 
coming into the go cup uncle challenge put me on varda i win so i probably only win about three or four races at the time and i get lucky i win there so we come off the march break and uh, races done in barbados i said daddy i won't go to train daddy see the only boy he know down there in vincent netherers mm -hmm. i went and see i went and i stayed by vincent and stuff like that never put me on a horse so I went with my coat joint and all them there, but I live by Vince's house. My dad never put me on a horse. I live by my <laughs> house, 24. So I got Ward, Pouchy, Randy, everybody come down. He would never, ever ride me. And he was my dad. The, I, that, he was my adopted dad. He would never, ever ride me. Dad never put me on a horse. And, um, he passed away when I went to Jamaica for the championship. And then the last words I had to him in Jamaica, uh, I said, Daddy, we only bring out for you. He said, bring him out some white gel for his hair. And ladies and Basil picked me out of the airport and tell me he died. Oh my God. And the last word I speak to him the day before, and he died. And I went back to Trinidad for his funeral. I said, Boy, my dad gone. I was here for four years. I never got a chance to write for him. God bless. Rest in peace. Mm. And you know, right, for Patrick's husband's day in Trinidad. Which Chris Armand put on in Trinidad. His I draw his son horse at fifty somebody to one and one with it. Sean, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sean, oh my God! When I see the draw, I own three horses. So I care Trotman. It was a little clash. I care Jono Barnes versus Trinidad and Jamaicans. Everybody coming. When I draw the man horse. And I won with the horse. So I ride three that day and I went two. So I beat me and I winning the championship. But that was so, because his son took over the horse from the father. I will not put me on, not a horse. Mm -hmm. Right? I said, oh my, so me Ward all the week. I mean, me Ward, me Ward has changed through Barbados horse racing. And I'm proud to say that. And all the years they're coming up um, in the summer, it's three Indians, And in the winter, it's the Englishman's. Mm -hmm. And then the Barbados right. had to put a cap that the Englishman can't ride more than two a day. If it's four Englishmen, it's two a day, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And me and Ward, we changed that. And we changed that in Barbados, so we went through that and changed that. So I'm proud to say me and Anderson Ward changed that relationship of Trinidad and Barbados. Trinidad isn't bad in Barbados, man. I'm going to stop that. Not saying not bad, I mean as writers in terms mm -hmm. of in, in, in we times in the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. That signing for Trinidad is that had to stop. And back in, in back in the days, it was Charlie Jones and Vanity Richards, and I felt Charlie Jones and Vanity Richards was to bring all the jockeys every weekend. And the Barbadians can't do nothing about it, and I'm proud to say that as a as 22 that me and Anderson Ward has changed that. Scale of I one know. to ten, how competitive are you, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> Don't sleep. Love horse racing. Don't sleep. I watch races over and over and over and over and over and over that. Coming up as a jockey and in 22, right now, there's only one person to get to the wire first. And I have to be patriotic. And I am proud and I want to share with anybody. Is he whore? Is he handicapping? Cause there's no trainer and tell me how to ride a horse and mm -hmm. only good trainers respect you so i'm speaking in terms of mark cassie todd pletcher shad brown all of them right for up to this day they say when you write for the guys that got one or two all i want is a check you know sit behind this horse and sit behind this one and sit behind that one when you call the gates why well, i see these horses and then again see you don't care it's about winning horse racing it's all about winning Playing, you agree with me, Sean, right? Winning. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And you know what? And speak speaking of that, Sean, before we move on, speaking of that, you, do you remember when Patrick won that big race for you? Back in 1999? 1999. I mean, that my first day spinner. And I get let me get a joke about that. Now, Patrick wasn't riding the horse originally. And you I didn't tell Patrick how to ride this horse, right? No, because you can't tell Patrick because <laughs> Patrick knew the horse was good. Patrick came to me one day and he worked him and told me Sean is the best horse in Canada. 
and I kind of brush them off and tell them a few French words. That's strong. That's strong. Hard. Talk about track though. Um, you was not uh, on. You was not in Canada. You was in Ocala. And you asked me to do you a favor. Get this horse two oh, belongs or three belongs or four belongs. So it was in Ocala. You was in sorry. Ocala. It was in Ocala. Thank you. Back thank you. It was in Ocala. All right. That even made the, the, the story. No, 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 no. No, you was in Ocala. The horse was at Woodbine. Oh, and you worked him. You told me do you a favor. Right. Okay. Tiger okay. was rub, Tiger was rubbing the horse, yes. which is yes. from, so I obviously from came Barbell. up a little later. Sorry, and you told you told wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. Let me tell you something, boss. Your memory is a lot better than I thought. <laughs> you getting old, you know. <laughs> Your I was in, I, I was in a coma. I was in a coma for five weeks in 1991. I forget today, but not years ago. <laughs> oh, you know, that's brilliant because I, you know, it now comes to me. I came out there, and when I got there, this guy told me, "Sean, you're the best horse." In no, 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 not not when you get there, Sean. You Sean, you're going too hard, Sean. But tell me. I breathed the horse twice and you was in Old Cala, Sean. You're really, right. you're really losing it now. Am I losing it? I don't remember that. All right, so let I me backtrack to you then. Saying. Hold on. All right, you talk it. Tom Patton had my book and yes. you told me to do your favor. I never had breezy horse. And I told my agent, this is the best horse I ever sit by in, in my whole life. He's like, that horse? Oh, you know how much time is that horse, right? Chris Griffith ride the horse about twice and Ricky ride the horse twice and la 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 la. I said it's the best horse. Then up comes you call me now. I ain't wanna bullshit. I said, Sean, hold it down. No man is the best thing I ever see in Canada. Before the evening, before the morning or evening, that I think either Chrissy or Ricky get hold of me. One and see me sound we all get hold of me. I can't remember which one it was. And they said, Why are you gonna tell Sean that horse is better? I look at Ricky or Sean, I just keep going. As my father said, keep your mouth shut. Cause if you say that, then we're gonna get you right back. <laughs> right? I keep a mouth shot. I just look at the saw and I keep rolling. And then uh, six days later, I take the horse fast, Sean. You're getting it pretty old. And I breeze the horse and I say this is the best horse. And then I call my adopted dad, Tommy Pierce. And I said, Mr. Pierce, I ride in a horse that I don't think there's no horse in the world could beat this horse. This horse is the best horse I ever sit on. And Tommy Pierce told me that Patrick, I'm coming up there to get some examines with my heart. I'll never forget it. And I don't know if I can make it over the rest. I said, Mr. Pierce, this horse can't lose. Tight to the pole, as the Bajan said. And Mr. Pierce, get chance to get to the races. And the horse went at 26 to 1. <laughs> that, that's his first, the first race you rode him then, the first race. Yes. Both of them right. was one was twenty six to one and one was probably one forty three twenty nine to one forty three to one. Right, right. No, and that was good night, nurse. How you remember yeah. so good? You, you even remember the odds? Yeah, yeah my I problem, mean, my problem is since I was in my coma, um, and uh, after winning the Gold Cup, I get Masha every year. So after winning the Gold Cup, I been in a coma. Um, uh, my memories gone bad from 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 as the old I get, my memories is bad from when I ride horses. Like if I ride a horse today, as my agents know, and Mark Cassie and everybody know, I just, my agents, I just, I just can't remember after race is done, I can't remember the horses I ride. So as you know, your brain is like a little pea and you always keep losing memories. But I could tell you about the past, but not not like today then. So mm -hmm. with um was 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 sort of charter. I get chance to roll him twice and never get chance to sit him again. He was sold for seven seven five, right, Sean? Law of money. Seven five. <laughs> Law of money. Yeah. I I I think they were so embarrassed they didn't even tell me nothing. And that was one of the biggest hurts in my life. I don't. I I I hope that you felt just as bad as I felt because that was a lot of money we lost that year. Best horse um, ever sit on. Let's look at the race again. Oh dear. They're out the post. Is 
They're off in the clip stakes. Jazz Club broke well, as did Stefan Otis and Cash in Social Charters, called on for run early. A fleet canter is toward the rail as they head into the first turn. And it's Patrick Husbands and Social Charter out there three wide. Angling toward the rail now. Jazz Club will settle just off of Social Charter. Just to the outside of Jazz Club is a cash in. Stefan Otis is fourth with opening quarter in 23 seconds. Victor Cooley is on the outside fifth, seven lengths off the lead. And we have Sunshine Journey in sixth position. Northern Sky between runners seven. Far outside from Mount Sassafras, the fleet canter has dropped back, now has one horse beaten, that is Zakharov, as they continue along the back stretch, and it's Social Charter, who leads by two lengths. Perrette keeping him in his sights with Jazz Club. Cash in his third, four lengths off the lead. To the inside, Stefan Otis is fourth, a 46 and four half mile. And it's Social Charter, who is free, wheeling out there on the front end. Jazz Club is second, Stefan Otis is third, five lengths off the lead. The 1996 Queen's Plate champion Victor Cooley is fourth, has six lengths to make up. Then Northern Sky, a fleet dancer, Zakharov putting in a bit of a run. Further back, Sunshine Journey, then Mount Sassafras, cash in is being eased. But they turn for home and it's Social Charter. Social Charter leads by seven lengths. Perrette getting into Jazz Club now. Victor Cooley is on the outside at the neck of Jazz Club. But Social Charter is running the race of his life in the final 16th. Social Charter in a shocker. 20 to 1 in the Eclipse. Victor Cooley second. Jazz Club third. John, I know that's a bittersweet moment, but I know, Patrick, that was a wonderful ride. But for Sean, I know that's a bittersweet moment. I know you talked about that. When people, look, when people look and say, why Sean Horse is miserable, they can look at that <laughs> moment there. <laughs> I was never the same after that. <laughs> that was. What really happened? Well, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about Patrick. Let's show them about Patrick, yeah. right? Well, but so Patrick, let's get to Patrick. Patrick's moment, too. I mean, he. It was our first, my first statement because of Patrick, and I, I, it's something I would never forget. Put it that way. And you know what? And there's a lot of guys who always, always give thanks to Patrick every time they talk about horse racing. You know, and um, you know, especially when I put that video on there with Jamal and his his uh, co-owners. Those guys were really thankful. I know they had um, um, Jason was on a horse before, but um, but you know, you know how the business go. So. But we we had many moments after that and before that, but that was the, that was the highest. And you know, that's how the business is, though. I mean, it's, it's a. But, it's a but hard, Sean, Sean, hard Sean, hard. Sean, you see that video that you put there? We going on too far, and we going on too fast, right? That, that no? video, that video that you put there. Mm -hmm. In the last fourteen years, I don't ride no horses with the N word. I don't ride no horses that the black riders ride. Right? Because they say that the wish I break my neck and this and that. Everybody on the racetrack. Right? Not everybody. Who's sorry. Who's talking about? Who's talking people. about? There's, there's black people. But the end word. Uh -huh. You can do any better. Blah, blah, blah. But when Todd Cable and anybody riding in horses, they take them off and put them on, it don't mean a problem. So I always uh -huh. tell all my agents in the last 15 years, don't put me on no, ride, no horse that a black rider ride. You oh, understand okay, what I'm saying? Okay, okay, so so that, that's the trying to send out with this year going on too mm. far now. Mm. As he just said that Jackie was riding the horse. So mm -hmm. the other little connection, a little bit of connection. I said you don't want mm. they had a little three little horses. I don't want no involvement. And they beg me and beg me and beg me and beg. I said I get involved because you can't where we come from and, and as you, Ricky, Anthony, everybody met a step in stone. You met a step in stone for everybody, all we met a step in stone. And then you're going to ride a horse at the same right. And you'll be able to, man, he could do better. He could ride that, ride that, ride that. He, he, if he only want to go eat. But when Todd Cable and, and the other riders and the Rico and all the other guys ride a horse, doing product. so my agents got here is bullshit. Man, I wish you wet your neck. I wish you. So I don't. So this, that little, you see that horse you see me over there? That was an issue because I do not ride no horses with the N word that black riders were. And I was doing that for about 17, 18 years. That's just the. That's just the environment, and that's just—I don't want anybody upset me. So, uh, my agents is 
keep a lot of things from me and stuff like that. You know, Sean, mm-hmm. and, and I stay away from people. I focus on my horse racing and that jealousy part and everybody jealousy and this and that. But any day I go win races, it's only one body get to the wire. And horse racing is all about winning. So the, so I just say saying that to you, you know. So so we that that they jump that gone on too far now. So let me just backtrack. You know what I'm saying, Sean? Where, yes. Where's where, where too far? Sorry. You talking about the horse and the uh, the other video or or thing? No, no. I was Please come on, the, the little horse. Oh, Jet Lee. How Jet Lee was oh. riding the horse before? Oh, that so that gone on too okay. far. That was that was just that was just there. Uh, He's trying. He threw it. I got he threw it, but. Any other rider that ride them horses, any other white rider that ride them horses, it don't be a problem. So let us get for that whole issue there. Well, but, I mean, so, I, that's sort of no, I, I like, I like, I like I, to be straight. I like to be straight. See, last sixteen years, I do not ride no horse that I, any black rider rides. That's that. I never, really, I never. I, when I was in, when I was in Canada, they never had many. It wasn't much for you guys up there, so uh, I, I don't so. know. It's become a problem now. <laughs> <laughs> and you know I, what, Sean? I, I want to see the, the I want, problem. Yeah, I was Sean for 16 years. I want to see the guys do good. So I of would course. I rather stay in jockey room than I rather hard Sean all right. I do like I, I do not like stress. So there's a I, lot of politics, want, a lot of politics, Patrick, involved uh, in there. Excuse me? Oh Lord. Sean even wants to start start a conversation. You walk on eggshells or you walk on glass. So you just gotta know you feel and keep your mouth shut and people call you people tell this and tell that and tell your agent that that, 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 that. just hold it down go there and win your races i met your bike but fat just hold it down <laughs> so, <laughs> gotta hold it down man but so there def- go ahead sean go ahead no i mean i'm, I'm surprised i mean i i must admit the environment has changed in the last 12 years since I've been there, you know what I mean? And I'm hoping that all the guys from Barbados, especially, you know what I mean? You have guys from Jamaica, Trinidad. I hope all of them, they get along and, and, and try to, um, it's a big, a big racetrack and everybody's supposed to get a piece of the pie, man. I hope there's no infighting and all that kind of bullshit, man. I, I hope not. But you tell well, me different. This- but I, I think what success brings a lot of different different um, emotions, you know, uh, you know, you know what I mean. Like so, every everybody want is competitive. I mean, Patrick say he's very competitive, and I'm sure yeah. those other guys are competitive too. How do you listen? I want this. What I want to hear from you, man. How do you share jockeys with your agent? It can't work. <clears throat> I'm a champion. So you're trying to say you're the one, you're you're the one you, you you're you're the one and only supposed to be there, or you can't have two big big brand name jockeys in with the same agent. Sean, hey hey hey, let me update you. Daddy taught me this here. Mm-hmm. When you come into horse racing, it's dog eat dog. This my father was nobody. Let me tell you this here. Daddy dead and gone. 31 years ago. He only saw me ride two horses. So I was riding 31 years ago. He said, dog eat dog. Left hand don't know the right hand now. And who started you? Never look back. And that, them three words there, is that when Bob Marty was preaching, and nobody didn't care what Bob Marty was preaching. So when he died, everybody get to realize that his words will always live on. And them is true words from my dad. <laughs> I could tell you about Barbadian. I could tell you about Canada, who started me, and he can't look back. And they went to look back, and then went in it. It was riding rats. Mm-hmm. And to make it, you got ready best. And then you see, if I got three horses there, and you can say, so you, you can only ride this one, but you don't want to ride the two. <laughs> well, man, but you already got two favorites for here, ready though? You got three horses. It can only ride that way. And you keep winning, winning, winning. You will come back to me, though. This is all about winning. And this is the, the part about being a champion. I can backtrack here for you now, right? And this is mm-hmm. where me Go and Charlie Jones went wrong. This is where me and Sir Challenger Jones went wrong, right? Mm-hmm. And these things that, it got to come out. Right? Talk, you talk, boss. 
Sachalan yeah. Jones, which is my dad. Mm -hmm. Jonathan Jones, this day is my best friend, him and Robert. I, I don't ever stop speak highly about them. <laughs> we do so much. Huh? So um, from here then, backtrack, could get me licensed, et cetera, et cetera. Uncle Chandler Jones tell me don't go down there, blah, 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 stay here. Uncle Chandler get my first ride, first winner, first air class winner, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Now, he got little pigs and rats in the barn. Oh, I already know that. I already that one. No, you can't wait for me no more. Who met mm -hmm. Charlie Jones, a champion jockey? Only riding good horses. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So I learned mm -hmm. from there. So that's me. That's where me and he went wrong. So Ricky Griffith now, I won the Gold Cup. And Ricky coming out to write in status. Mm -hmm. Ricky ain't ride a horse in about five weeks with the bright collar boy. And Ricky ran third in, in the Gold Cup. And two weeks later, I rode the horse and he brought out three for longs and still went with him in Satata, which is one of the best, one of the, one of the best horses. I mean, and I will see the best horse when it comes to the Caribbean. I will see wait, the wait, best horse. Not in Satata, you get it mixed up, man. Not in Satata, no, Nosferatu, um, you mean? Nosferatu. I, I would yeah, say Nosferatu. in breeding, I would say in breeding aspects, he was one of the best horses mm -hmm. ever come to the Caribbean. I mean, to Barbados. Correct. But the ones are correct. But I got one for you, a low blow. The best horse cool. that we, the best talent that we ever see in Barbados, and I'm proud to say that. And this is going to hit the whole of Barbados. Talk. You I can't answer that question. I can't answer that question. Who, who, who is a horse that had two crops in Barbados? I had your class horses. Mm, 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 mm. Paddy Yoga, man. Stop thinking. Paddy Yoga. I do my research. All right. Paddy Yoga. Paddy Bird. Oop. Paddy Bird, Sugar and Spice, Lock and Var. Don't let me start. I will go right back down. We only had two years. <laughs> right, I have one right. G class horse called St. George. <laughs> that Ricky Griffin made all the G class races, but don't, so don't, don't let me go back to the archives. I can tell as uh, it is. I can't tell, I can't tell today, but I can tell you 30 years, 40 years from now. <laughs> no shock me there. No shock me there. No shock me there. Right, Ricky Griffith, that G O, that G O, St. George. <laughs> she was she was so much of rats around every morning and Charlie Jones so Charlie Jones gave her to all the LA. Yeah. That's the only G class horse that Paddy Hogan produced. Uh -huh. And the Wait, pony, the pony it not, it yeah, the, po yeah, the pony killed in the paddock. Mm -hmm. I will never forget this there. The pony's a TZ all the time. The pony running the paddock and ran back out and he ran at the pony and broke off his whole shoulder. Well, Let me go forward now. I want to ask you this, Patrick, because you, you like, I mean, you're outstanding. And looking back from where you started at 14 years old, linear Gold Cup at 16 years old, did you ever think that it is what it would, like, it would be what it is right now for you? Did you imagine right. this, envision this? All right. Let me, let me backtrack you again. Quite a little backtrack, right? I think about the Gold Cup. Going to the race track, Sprinter was money in a horse called Manny C. He's paying me twenty dollars a week, seven days a week. So I come up in the morning early, pick the stalls. I was eight years old. Then I come up in the evening, pick the stalls, and he paid me twenty dollars. After two and a half years, from eight years old, Tyrone, she's grandson, bought race. You know, thirty dollars at breakfast, thirty dollars at breakfast, seven days a week. <laughs> I never was Sprinter. But you know the boy can get Manisi stall. I sure will tell you. Right? So Manisi you now, he like Tom Brain. Right? So when Sprinter, Sprinter, he like Tom Brain. He had Tom Brain tree, two Tom Brain trees in top powder. Right? So when Sprinter carried out, when Sprinter Sally up, I'm going to pick the stall, I'm going to carry it out. So I get ready to take Tom Brain. So every time I would have grazed in here, Sprinter says, don't get me hit back legs. So I was in front of you all the time. I keep shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. And he let the time in. So then he started carrying time in his stall. Right? And then he become loving, 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 loving. So the only boy I can get up on money is Sonia Perkins. He don't pull. And then he love me in his stall. So spray the only boy can go in his stall. So he started getting time in. So me and Manny C was the boss. When Manny C retired, I said, go up, up, boy. Um, and say Thomas, they are visiting, visiting, visiting. And they got my little time in, little time in. So I love a relationship. Come, 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 come. He said, you always got to find out shortcuts with horse. 
you can't talk at all. I got different personalities, but you got to find out what a horse like for we don't like. It's like a human being, but you can't talk, but you make a talk. So going back to you in terms of when you go a cat, what I want to go a cat, I ain't got a club of horse racing. <laughs> I ain't got a club of horse. Uncle Charlie put me on the horse at about 68 pounds. Uh, he said, Jack, get to your I guess get lucky, you get to your eye for the summer breaks. I didn't really race, but I got a clue of horses. No, no, I was a French summer break. I put it in third, Charlie said, Count the gates. Chili, where is Charlie? Loose lady, door holy, and keep it there. And uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's only, I uh, yeah, never, I ain't got a clue of horse racing. I never remember, remember, remember that horse. That was about 12th, 12th right or something. I ain't got a clue, 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 clue. So some people say you're very cocky. Were you? Or is this true when it comes to, to winning? Because when you win, I, you know, like great great jockeys like to let the other jockeys know, I win, I beat you guys. Is this is this true? Uh, cockiness is North America. You left. It's kind of showing you left Barry so long. Cockiness is North America. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> that's so, so cockiness in the Caribbean means what? Nah, boy, they don't use that word. They don't use that word. <laughs> word is it? Show me the other word is news. No, there's two words that is news. <laughs> Cockiness, I only learn our word in North America. What's the word? What's the word is using about it? Listen. Know it all, know it all. And what's the other word again? I know. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. I can tell you. Yeah, he's a know it all. No, but, but you know what? I, I feel like, if, to, be, like uh, to be great, Sean, I feel like to be great, you just got to be a certain way. Though. That's I've been yeah, saying this for, for a long time. Standard, that's standard in sportsmen. That's standard in sportsmen. That's standard in sportsmen. For myself, right? From the time he was young, we, we, we always knew that his talent was his talent was special. It wasn't that he was no ordinary talent. You know what I mean? The things he was doing on horses for his age was freaky. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was like a freak show, right? And whatever, not everything he's done for the horse so far has not surprised me because he was doing it in Barbados before he left here riding horses without his feet in the stirrup and that sort of thing that is he was doing that from he was eight years old freezing horses yeah yeah so that's nothing for him right but but Sean it's standard what, it's standard a horse racing that um how people always put it you know good luck good luck good luck it's a good luck thing I, I that's irritated me. That's met me. Here, stop on me. Hand. It's a business. What good luck you're talking about? Mm -hmm. You find this go there right to yours and take it on the belly and stuff like that. You know, um, I get hurt. I get hurt about four times. And yeah, morning, you pissed me off, but I just wore it down. You pissed me off a week ago. But you guys said, but has he, man, forget about these two yours. Forget about these two yours. But that's the fun and the joy I love about the industry. In my whole life, I get hurt. What I get hurt on? I was riding in Barbados, and I get hurt every year. I just I like to backtrack, right? Backtrack. I broke my. I I give you the skeleton of my body. I mm -hmm. had I I added two surgeries on it, right? I should mm -hmm. tell you. I get hurt every year in Barbados. Um, the first was the hand. 89 and 99 after when he go a cup i was in a coma in the a tree my family never come up for me that's my sisters my brothers that come up for me so when's hall pray for me and hello not hello hello with the slot machines azan hello which are my cousin him and Wes hall them pray for me was five and a half weeks they come with the coma and the brain was enlarged so my two foot and a half was tight. And then pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. And I come out of the coma and then everybody, you know, Robert Pierce is a jockey. Everybody come out of the coma. Robert Pierce is not a jockey. And I'm proud to say that. <laughs> right? So um, going forward, um, that was a, a low blow. Like you, you, you forget what happened. And I could remember this day that um, Evans fall asleep on love letters and clip heels. 
Venice went down, O'Neill went down, and I went down. This is this is 30 years ago, you know. And mm -hmm. I could not forget this day. Uh, I was the last body went down. The only boy got hurt was me. And um I come out of it. I come out of it. And 30 years later now, I could I could call all the races the last 25 years, but talking about the last six, seven years, you gotta update me on what's going on. Um what? Evans write love letters at Clip Hills. Mm -hmm. He ran he ran in the bar um the boy that died four years ago. He ran it back he he ran the head he ran it back. And Fellas went down, only went down. I was the last boy went down. And the only boy got hurt was me. And then so that was in ninety. In ninety one, Shakara broke my foot. She died from he died from under me. Yeah, but the quarter pole and the woman was selling popcorn. And I I, I was I, I lama thought she was the armor. And I broke my jawbone, collarbone, and break my whole left shot of my whole left leg. That was ninety one. <clears throat> You land outside the track? Yeah, but the you quarter pole the the, Yes, you know, you know, you know where the um the they had the kids in the park? Yeah. Right. You heard that from me on but the quarter pole two year old. I went straight and I, I, I locked the bit and I can get you there. And the woman was selling the popcorn and sugar kicks and the envelope, I lamped out the envelope. <laughs> and I brought the jawbone, collarbone, this piece lick out, came back here, whole face, came back, my face was white. You were half a murder, and my whole left leg was spinning right off. <laughs> so that was ninety one. I, I Only in Barbados that can happen. Only in Barbados. Yeah, ninety two. I got my shit in ninety two. Ninety three was Trinidad. I rolled three. I went all three, and I was riding my fourth race again, Frank, in South. And the horse fall in front of the whole field. 22 horses, about 10 or 11 guys went down. And I broke all my ribs and punched my kidney. And they carried me to the South Hospital, so I got cracked ribs. Just a camera over here. They carried me to Port of Spain, so I got bruised ribs. Just a camera over here. And they carried me to Mount Hope, <coughs> which is in town. And all the ribs, kidneys, lungs just collapsed like that. And I stayed there for six weeks. And rest in peace, Mr. Mirage, he looked after me. <coughs> he paid all the bill. I was there for six weeks. I come back to Barbados in 90. I never read a whole year yet. I write 94. I destroyed them in the championship. And um, I tell you what, Uncle Challenger Jones, 32 wins. And then I said, boy, I had in Canada, boy. I had enough of this year. So that's why I ended up in Canada. 32 wins in one year. How do you come up with these injuries? Tell me, how do you come up with these injuries, though? I mean, Sean, sure. I don't deal with therapy. I, I don't deal with therapy, Sean. I come to Barbados uh, and Bunny Hot Pot. And I work out, uh, work out, 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 work out. And knock on wood, I was good. I was, well, all my injuries, I was good. It's when I play a bulldog coming back and win the championship. Remember, I never get hurt when I move to Canada. You know? I get hurt. Okay. Yeah. But I break, I, break, I break this hand off. This whole hand was break clean off. It's for an injury hand. Um, that's how to stop losing numbers at Woodbine. Mm -hmm. That on clip and jump the horse in eye and the horse dark cross about five horses slam the fence. And this whole hand was slinging. And that was another injury. But the how going forward. Um, the other injury was 2013 when I, for my 40th birthday party, and I told my agent, I only want to ride two horses. That's the best year I was probably ever having in Canada. I set my goals out that I can done them and I came back home. 2013. And we had six state races for the year. I went all six. My 40th birthday party. And I, I don't know if Sean, if you know if I could cook, but I was cooking for about for two days. And um, I had Patrick God as the MC at my house for my 40th birthday party. And I was wanting to move back home to start a writing school. And I tell my agent, I just want two rides. He put me on three. 
that was devastating. First one I rode, they couldn't get a tack on the horse. I was fuming, Sean. I was yeah. fuming. I don't ride for this trainer, and he got me a some bad horse. The T bonnet, they couldn't get saddle up on it, and outside was about a hundred and five degrees or something like that. I ran and ran and ran this horse, ran this big, this big, and I rode this horse. And when he got by, he dropped on me. He dropped and he snapped and brought everything clean off. Whew. I shattered the whole leg. When have any hospital, they say if you're a horse, you got to put you down. But what we put in here can't can't come back out. So I got four, I got three bolts on my ankle. Above my ankle was broke clean off. Just under the knee was shattered. A big plate in it with six bolts. I put a rod straight down the knee, back into the ankle. And I asked him, can I ride again? My look at me, so. So I did with my mother nature. And I hold it down, Sean. I work out, I work out. I come Barbados, so I work out, work out in hot pot. I come back, I'm beating them by 50. That was 13. I beat them by 50 in 2014, and the whole foot was in flame. I didn't work the whole year. I only worked the first six weeks of the racing, and I was not Hollywood by race track. I was just coming and ride, but I can't walk. I can't do anything. I was just determination. And I beat them by 50. I had 170. The guys barely get about 25. 125. Uh, I went and see two surgeons. They said, you got to retire. We was doing, you got to retire. And I, from there now, 2013, 2000, or 2014, Sean, I could only ride two horses a day, three horses a day. And you cannot go in a draw with two, two three horses a day. You're not going to draw with 10, 10 rides, 14 rides. Got this racing go, that racing go. And it's very tough to stay in the jockey room all day. One ride and two rides. Sean, devastated we don't even know what's going on after running 10 horses a day for your whole career mm -hmm. it, it's tough so i went from 14 can't compete and riding the races just caught my leg and then 2018 same incident again you really don't know nothing about this and you're gonna put me on this horse and um I was still carrying the horse to the start, and the horse, as we stopped, blacking out, smashed my whole body into one. Boy, I went to the hospital, and I had to push my body back up for the So I, my whole, my whole, I'm full of steel. From the left side to the right side, it's full of steel. My whole, wait, wait, my wait. whole body is full of steel. Hold on a second, please. Hold on a second. I'm not saying that you won 170 races, nine million dollars in 2014 broken up that we're telling me yeah wow and so thank you jennifer thank you thank you for that she knows she's the king wow. the stats. 170 Sean. races you were broken and went all Sean, that i were all year i worked the first month and everything was in flame and the doctors the two surgeons i went to see him he said what you was doing Everything was in flame. I felt my leg was big, 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 big. He told me you gotta stop with me. Shawty cry, Eddie cry. Shawty cry, Eddie cry. Can't write it, bro. It's the only thing I know. It's the only thing I love, boy. That that hit me for six, yarn. And I um, so we come back in the f uh, so that was thirteen. I mean fourteen, fifteen. I come back and I got me a jock room every day. I put only ride two horses a day, Sean. And Sean, I human. I feel, man. I can't wait the races down to get brandy. I can't wait the races down to get cigar. I feel, man. Sean, man. you know, maybe I top your level, Sean. And like, you just want to tear, tear this, and lick the bar off it. Lick the bar. And, and Sean, it's not easy, Sean. So, unfortunately, I can't compete against these guys. I can compete, you know, Sean, but make a regular done. I could go back. I could go this year, or what about I just speak to you? I'm in the championship this year. This how cocky it is. Mm -hmm. But you remember now, any year, probably in the wheelchair. <laughs> and this is what I don't want to do. I want to live to see my kids. You understand what I'm saying, Sean? And I went there, done that already. But if, if, if anybody chirp at me, you know how it is. Mm -hmm. If I step back, I would buy anybody chirp, chirp, chirp. You know what going on, right? But that's not the point, though. Yeah, that's not the point. That's not the point. You know, I. That's not the point. The 
the point is, Sean, the, when you reach this part of life right now, play, 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 but there's no jockey, trainer, there's no boy love horse racing like Patrick has been, Trust me, Sean. I analyze, I analyze, I make my job look easy. And at the end of the day, you have to get the ref first. You can't come out, Sean calls me the ref. This boy called me, this boy. Your stories can get still going going over and over and over and over and over. So uh, I try to go sit behind this boy, sit, sit this boy, sit behind that boy, and everybody gets like, you can't find this boy, you can't find What are you gonna do? And then man, you get beat. Why you know what you was doing? What you doing? The, 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 there's only one trainer, there's not jockeys. You got to go out there and deal with your problems. You got to handicap racing. And people don't understand that. When you're riding on this big track, oh man, Mark Cassie, I mean, between me and Johnny now, me and Johnny Velasquez, we are probably going on history that we probably win the most races as a trainer throughout the whole world. The whole lonely world was here in horse racing, Sean. You talking about your, your combination with Mark Cassie? Yes, and Johnny combination with um, Johnny Velasquez. I got a Google idea, you know, but I got my archives. Let's um, let's do something here different now. Let's 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 go back to some of Patrick' greatest rides or some of Patrick rides because he got so many. I, I can't say which one's greatest or greater than the other one. But let's take a minute or two and go right back there, and then we return to the conversation. So let's let's good. do this. Sealy Hill, Saskaway a second, Street Sounds third, Sealy Hill, nothing short of superb this afternoon. She wins the bat with by notes, the side the rail on the outside is already hot. Here comes Stunning Stag, Ice Bears resurgent on the inside, here comes Marchfield fresh, Marchfield last stride to win the Autumn Stakes. Defeated Stunning Stag and Ice Bear, Hardy. Marchfield, racing's newest millionaire, has won. The one street. has come to the front. Apostle can't answer him. It's Brave One who's galloping on now. Apostle is second. Sturridge is thundering down the middle of the course. It is Brave One and Sturridge. Brave One and Sturridge. Here comes the line. It is Sturridge who gets out to beat Brave One on the wear. And that left hand drive on the outside here is normally shared adventure starts to falter. But you can sing this field a lot of my they have been put to bed. Major Marvel, Indeed, they are in the last 16th of a mile. The Philly was fabulous this afternoon. Lexi Lou wins the 155th running of the Queen off the pace. Lion of Judah comes on in that blue cap. And to the outside is March to my tune. Cosmic Charlie trying to be resurgent between horses. Dives inside for the final 16th. Cosmic Charlie flying way to the Featherlands. Way outside the Barber of Brazil. A wild finish. Maybe, just maybe, the Barber of Brazil came from 13th. A the win. photo, it was number seven. The Barber of Brazil. An amazing performance. Number eight. Coming again on the outside. Marjorie's Dream in front, Silent Causeway on the outside. I think Marjorie's Dream is desperately close with Silent Causeway. Riptide Rock, but British Royalty is absolutely outstaying them and will win the 130th Breeders' Stakes very well. British Royalty, three and a half lengths to Riptide. Final furlong, it is all Wando. Sharp, strong, and a dominating winner of the Queen's Plate. Wando, simply spectacular. Today he is on his game and one step closer to the Triple Crown. 
It is Wando to win the Prince of Wales Stakes. Arco's Gold second and Shoalwater third. Tremendous win. Sail. Wando's wheel to the far outside. Two furlongs away from Triple Crown Immortality. Here comes Wando on the outside to take the lead. Showwater is back in second. They come to the final 16th. And Canada salutes the Breeders' Stakes winner and the Triple Crown champion. Wando was better than wonderful this afternoon. He was magnificent. Wow, <laughs> that sends some chills through my body. I don't know about you guys, but you know, like one that I mean, and that's not even all of them. I mean, and, and it just like sends some really some cool sweat through my body just watching, you know, the accomplishments, you know, and to do it, the, the the triple crown on, on that horse, and also triple crown, triple tiara. Mm. On Sealy Hill, right? Was it Sealy Hill? Yes, Sealy Hill, Sealy Hill won that too. When oh, no, 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 Sealy Hill was a girl. It is a girl. Right, Tiara. I've been in Tiara. And then Triple Crown. Right, yeah. they've never had a girl right. ever been in Tiara yet. But Sealy Hill was the first to ever been in Tiara. And then one of those, the last horse to ever been in Triple Crown. I wanted to ask you this. How did you get that mount for Wando? Boy, gentlemen, and everybody, that was stress in terms of pressure. Hmm. Mike can never write me yet, and I keep me and my agent keep going to TZ. Anyone thought Kim was wrong? I could be, I could be. So, both of them was to think seven to seven or seven and eight, seven and eight. And thought Kim would want Dosh to ride the horse. I never forget it. I had to keep walking. Anybody choose, they're going to wash your lips. Anything you choose, they're going to wash your lips. And never went to the outfit yet. And um, never breezy horse yet. None. But I just watch videos. I do my handicap it. And I realize he's a galloper. And the fastest thing he does is get ears. To let you know he's on coast control. It's like a jag against a Suzuki. You know what I'm saying? On the highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta keep giving it gas, my jagging. You know, how Mercedes, that's cool, you know. So that's so actually I get it right. Wow, and you know that that was such a big, a big, big moment. Was that the, the turning point in your career? Um, I can be honest with you. Um, I did this, this thing that we really went ahead in terms of this interview this went over a little bit fast because there's so much things there that is the pointer in terms of what you're getting at and what but the what i'm here saying to you is is get to canada and and i know where you're going into and then when you get there it was there for six weeks and everybody turned you down and you leave Barbados as a little champion, and you can't get horse exercise. And then they say, get back home, and then my brother told me, go to Fort Erie. Then I went to Fort Erie, the same thing again. And I was there, and then the first ride, they got a one, and then et cetera, et cetera. And then a horse broke a leg that, that I was grooming, and et cetera, et cetera. And then I met a wood bite, and the first ride, they get a wood bite, and then they went on from there. So it was a little tough, bumpy road in terms of, of racing but i'm saying um in two and a half years later um when i come back to barbados to ride um the philly that with the derby she still have the record um um that little philly there that, that little sprinkler my mom was a g-class horse and um What's her name again now? Willis Horse. Willis Horse, Sean, that mini derby. I can't remember the name uh, of that horse, but I know who you mean. 
Right. So what happened is she's Barbados top sprinkler. Her mother was was a G class horse, and she was Barbados top sprinkler. And um, I used to follow Barbados horses. So everybody who coming up back in the days was a great tips for me, and I follow Barbados horses. And and uh, we listen to owner, and I called Nads, and they said Nads, send ticket for my brother. Oh, my brother can't ride this horse. My brother said my man rode her, and she ran last, going seven point eight. You prep before the derby, she ran last. And I called, I spoke the same one, and she said me what after the, she can't yeah, get that far, but she never made returns yet. So she was only going five for dollars. And she ran last. So Nads called me. La, 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 la. I said, Nads, I ride on Sunday. I ride and I catch you right off. Like, things are going so good for me in Toronto. That's how my career took off. Two and a half years, years later, when I moved to Canada, and my career took off. My agent was pissed at me. I said, hey, I go home to do a job. And I, I went to Trinidad. Um, I ride the freighter, and I catch a ride a flight into Trinidad, and I come into Barbados. After my brother no ran last with a horse, and I won the Chuck derby. Me. Chuck me the horse. Chuck me. Chuck me. I won the derby. That's I won the derby. You. Thank you, Jeff Vaughn. Nine I won the derby about nine lengths. Never caught the stake, and she ran in. 51. She probably still got the record there. <laughs> and after no come from running a lot, and that say to me, I will never forget these words, man. You are God bless. I said, God bless. I follow horse races, man. There's a horse that won't even fight for long races. I go out seven for long as a run last. And now I go out nine for long as a win by seven. And I have a guarantee if you check the Barbados Turf Lab, she still have a record. When Shaw Hall with the Derby, it went in 53. And there's a Barbadian bird that went in 51. Watch it out, Sean. That history going back, though. Huh? Shaw with the, <laughs> Shaw with the slowest go I ever run at the garrison. And a, <laughs> and a, and a trio, a trio run in 51. Are you right, Sean? Are you wrong? You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I You're do right. a history of Barbadian horse racing. You're right. But Patrick, yeah, this yeah, tells right. me, this this tells me and tells us a lot about you, man. You, you're, you're, you are exactly what you told me earlier. You are a horse racing fanatic. You you just horse racing indulges you, or you indulges <laughs> in, in horse about, racing. Right? You gotta forgive us, right? Because you got so much stories that we might be all over the place, but we can get this thing done. What I want to find from you is two things. I gotta find from you. You remember your first stakes winner? We're in Canada. Yes. My first day, better? Yes. But Tommy Patton. Tommy Patton? What source yeah. is that? Start with the S. What's your name, you know? The first one is Hickory Hill out of Fort Erie. A mad horse. Who trained that? <laughs> um, In California right now, Egg, Ed, Ed Freeman. Ed Freeman? Something, start with the H. Hickory Hill or Hick Hickory Hill. Hickory Hill. First right, first winning for Erie. I'm out of money. Okay. You know when you race track in six weeks? And, it, and it, they couldn't get saddle. And Mark Cassie, first winner, first right. Cool theater. That's the one I, I bolted? No, that's a, that was one that you barely big and you always sleeping. <laughs> and every three days, Mark, that's this galopy. He always sleep it. And they put me on it, they won't even wash them off. <laughs> Which is the one that bolted at Fort Harry? Oh, all right. You got to talk about that. All right, let me backtrack now. So, the other guy called I hear that Patrick. impressed Mark Cassie a lot about you. I heard that. Yes, 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 yes. Because Mark Cassie, what you call him? And said the job is going to Fort Erie today. Watch him ride. Mm -hmm. So Mark don't want to ride me on no horses. Mark only want to talk riders. So he's in some part of the United States of America. How you take that key card? That's where he's from. Mm. <laughs> this is no Sean boy. You hit your nail, you hit your boy. 
Yeah, yo, I gotta watch you though, yo. It was the FBI. Yeah. So uh um, That's how I wrote. Everybody was watching the work. So what happened is once a week I would go to to Woodbine. So the horse, Peter Severe was training the horse in Larry Severe Bar. And the horse ran bare lasses. So I'd go up there every week and get on the horses. So trying to get established at Woodbine. Because nobody don't speak here, nobody don't et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. And um, so Patrick lived next to my brother's house. No, he have his he have his um, rest of the store next to my brother's house. So my brother stopped there all the time and get food. And then when I go home, I stop there and get a little soup and stuff. stuff. So this is before he moved to Canada, because I went two years before he moved to Canada. So I moved in Canada uh, in '95. I was going there when we break here. So I have a Patrick place. And I go and get up on the horse and stuff like that. And so I say, Patrick, can you move this horse to Fort Erie? I go with the groom. I everything I want. Let's put on so squares name as a trainer. So the first time I ride the horse, I realized in the first turn, she don't eat dirt, eat dirt, eat dirt, eat dirt, eat dirt. The horse come out with six lasses. So I say, I say to Kathy, Kathy Patton, she was marking my boss. Horse can't lost. My brother said she horse can't lost. So they slot, they put the horse up front. <laughs> And they were right. And I say with one horse, duck for money. Wow, wow, baby. Wow, wow, wow. And it's true. I don't know. And I'm winning the race. And just two strikes for the way the horse duck from under me. I went to the entrance. And she going through. They said, no, 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 you can't go, man. And they bail out. This is the barbie. They say, bail out. Horse break both of their legs. So Nathan squares at his wife. Both of them, yeah, and said the horse foot was back from the quarter pole. I don't know how a horse foot could back from the quarter pole, which is two for long was out. I still win the race. So, et cetera. So, Grady Gans, who died, was the best thing that happened to me. Grady Gans, he, um, I done bed and he come out to have a little hangout with Greg, or no trying to get, no Greg, got Greg, Greg from the Caribbean. So when they come out, Greg said, you better get from down here now. Them don't like you. Don't see the horses right from the quarter pool. Rest in peace, Greg. Respect. You is who made me who is today. And let me tell you, I went and got my clothes, grab my bicycle, and get in the horse van. Straight to Toronto, that was for Erie. So they were three months, I mean, 13 races. God bless Greg. <laughs> I, I asked you a question, Sean Hall. Go ahead again. <laughs> All right, you remember winning the Puss and Boots Sticks? I won two of them already, Sean. Which one? With Steve Owens. Which, call the name? I remember. I I read somewhere that some some um, journalist wrote somewhere that Patriot Husbands has won everything at Woodbine Restaurant. Is this true? No, 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 no. no. The international, which it take God to answer that question. Uh, international and the EP Theater. Do you, do I you think beat, that I get beat to Northern? Yeah. What do you what do you what's your feelings towards that international? That is not right. And what by <clears throat> saw pictures all over the place. And Frankie's still laughing about that race. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? When I, <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> Yo <laughs> let me just pull it though, man. That, that, Patrick. that that was 1.8, 1.8, a guy from Barbados, a guy that live in the ghetto of Barbados, 1.8, do the math, do the math, 1.8, the purse was 1.8. Can I, can I do something? That, that never stopped you after that. Actually, it might have propelled you. So let me do something like this. Let, let's, You're let's right, go bro. back. But hold on, Sean, Sean, before y'all go forward, y'all showing the races, mm. but not the volume. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe uh, from your end, you probably can't hear. Oh, but right, that, once that's you okay, watch the replay, okay. you'll probably hear. All right, that's, all right, that's okay. That's so okay. let's look at this. And we're going to take, take you guys through some moments.
They're at the post. They're off in the Canadian International. Caetano spotted them three lengths at the break. And the Philly uh, free vacation broke alertly. Mergham is on the outside uh, to press the pace early. Catherine and Mervier behind, but Curlin's Voyage wins the Woodbine Oaks beautifully. Two lengths to a... is right there in the blue silks. And Daliapur will help set the early pace up to the outside of free vacation as they make that incline to the back stretch. Uh, free vacation has the lead. Uh, Daliapur is second. To the inside is Mergham. Uh, Dawson's legacy is uh, right there as well as they sweep up around the turn. And up on the outside. Now. Into joint fat totem. Ralphie Boy's there from Mad Mocha Hall of Dreams. Ralphie Boy coming for the split. Hall of Dreams down the outside. Fat totem and Larac and Hall of Dreams. And here's Golden Glider. What a run, Golden Glider. This talent, Golden Glider, just swooped like a dove to win. Second placing has been for the lead as they enter the back stretch. And it's Dawson's Legacy with the lead. Free Vacation is second. Dahlia Poor on the outside. Third, Mutapawek is fourth. Bergam is uh, to the inside in fifth position. And River Boat is sixth. Williams News is uh, toward the inside in uh, seventh. Uh, and Ryan Chazelize, Marchfield, racing's newest millionaire, has won. Bad River and Caetano, who didn't have a perfect start. To tap it is to the outside of Caetano and trailing his eye and eye. Midpoint of the backstretch. Cable and Dawson's legacy. They lead it by a neck. The Philly free vacations to the outside. Frosted second. over and Sir Winston. A Makassi Royale battle. Sir Winston frosted over. Sir Winston on the outside. And Sir Winston prevails in the valedictory. A mighty horse, a mighty winner. Sir Winston from Frost. The leaders in his sights. And Burgum's toward the inside of Daliapur. Mutafawek is fifth. Back five lengths off the lead. Then we have a Williams News. Riverboat has eight lengths to make up, starting to gain some ground. Outside of horses is a tappet. Then back to Lysitas, the end of the far turn. Dawson's legacy with a half mile. Today. And the Jacques Cartier to Super Stonehenge by several lengths. Super Stonehenge by almost four. Pink Lloyd second, third Malibu Secret, and fourth Joker. On Free vacation inches up on the outside. Daliapur set to strike in those rain silks. Mergham drafts in behind horses. Also ready to pounce is Mutafawek, who is angled to the far outside by Frankie Dettori. Less than three furlongs to go. Mutafawek is making a move, as is Daliapur. Off they race, and coming out in front narrowly was Lewin coming across from the outside, Theodora B. And as they settle down, Miss Momentum and A.A. Zula's Archer on the pace from She's the Berries. A couple away is A.V.'s Mineshaft, and the trailer early is Lift Up, who's a significant last, is four lengths away. Theodora B. led, Lift Up is flying. Lift Up, what a slice through the pack. Lift Up has come from last. What a win, lift up. Or free vacation is between horses, and they turn for home, and they hit the quarter pole. Dahlia Poor and Mukta Pawek. Williams News is a gaining Here ground on the outside as they come through the stretch here at Woodbine. Mukta Pawek and on the outside, Williams News. And Williams News on the outside has taken the lead for Patrick Husbands. Mukta Pawek tries to fight back, but they're running out of ground here. Williams News are Mukta Pawek. On. I don't know about you. I know Patrick got his feelings, but I look at that race over and over I don't know. I don't know. and that. over. It's, it's crazy. And I I still can't. I don't know <laughs> how Williams News lost that. I don't know how he lost that, but I look at that over. Patrick, what was the official excuse? But Sean, the whole world saying this here right now, right? So I really want to get that idea. I got two books coming out. We ain't deal with that idea here. But 
that was devastating. That is still that, something that I got to live on with, and that's something that is still I would bind. To have the pictures right there. I don't care to put the pictures. That I have them two, two of them parts of wood by. I mean, it's not again from me yet. So that's this sign. It's called D wood. Is but it safe to say? Is it safe to say the worst way, thing that ever happened in your career? But Sean, that was beginning. Hmm. I only had about three more incidents in horse racing that stand out, but everything motivated me mm -hmm. because. I I have this passion about me, Sean. That for the time I was riding horses, there's no jockey in the work out right me. And up to this day right now, Sean, as I speak, I'm a big man, not a little boy. Mm -hmm. Picture a jockey that beat me down the lane. Hook up with me, three for long so or he top the lane and beat me down the lane. You will catch you will see guys kinda of catch me, catch me on the wire. Mm -hmm. Or uh, catch me last two jumps, but my inspiration as a jockey, I want you doing it. And do my handicapping, I only went a nose and a head. And that was always my motivation as a jockey. Mm -hmm. And I always left any time for the next race. I would never win far. I just like to beat people in the nose and the head. And that was always my fun. Because my fun about horse racing was riding bad horses. And, mm -hmm. the, and my fun about riding horses is only when nose in the head. So I always want a challenge. I want a challenge because up to this day, there's no jockey can beat me down the lane. And I, I have this here inside of me. All right. I can ask you this question now. I can ask you this question now. Call a jockey that, call a jockey that beat me I, down I, the I, lane. I can ask you this question. I can ask you this I question. Which is the better, which was the better rivalry for you? Rivalry, Todd Cable or Rico the Silver? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You heard hold me. On. Hold on, hold on. You thinking too hard about this, man. What's wrong? No, 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 no. You, 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 you talking about a master, and you talking about a guy that improved after he get hurt. So let me backtrack. Which one I, is who? Explain it. Which explain one is who? I want to hear this. Explain it. Todd Kiewa was Charlie Jones at Venice Richards. Mm -hmm. And I watch him and I learn everything from him. And after two and a half years, three years, he had to talk to talk to me. Mm -hmm. Right? Up to this right. day, he's still a champion. Up to this day, my numbers is bigger than his. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I recall when I get hurt in 13, I won the six, that which is my biggest year, which I told you, which is my biggest year I'm gonna have. They had six state races, they win all six, and I was leading, and they got mashed up. And then Arico win that championship, which is his first year. And then next year, I demolish he about 50 wins, right? And then my, my body couldn't take part. But Arico was not the best looking thing in, on, on a horse, but he was pretty smart. But Todd, Todd was gifted. But Todd, brain was not all rock. But rest in peace. He taught me a lot if I'm being around him. But he was a bully, but not a bully around me. <laughs> but he was next to one another. And I had to let him know he tell me he did. So he never valid around me. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm a vagabond just like he. But I'm a Caribbean vagabond. You understand what I'm saying? He couldn't, he couldn't time for me. I remember one day, he met me in sport. Probably don't make sport. I don't have a business. And he tackled me from behind. And I still... As he rests in peace, he tackled me from behind. I look back and see who he was. And Sean, as small as I is, I pat you your ears like a bag of onions. And when he hit down from there, you don't want to see her. Because <laughs> I don't value it, and he value it, right? And when I look back and see was he, I turn around. And when I hold it, Sean, I pat you your ear about eight, nine feet. Let me tell you, son, he don't want to see her again. But that, that's not the point, though. He, he was a uh, a hero of Woodbine. He's gone on as a hero as a Woodbine. Rest in peace. I learned everything from he. But any day, you know what it is. When you work hard at your job and and people, the love haters always having negative things, right? You can't understand. You move to Canada, you know. So if you're not a Canadian, blah, 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 blah. When you establish yourself and make yourself who you is today, people got to respect you. 
And up to this day, and you ask anybody at Woodbine, I don't disrespect nobody, I don't get anybody to wear, I don't get cocky, this, that, disrespute. I have a dispute with anybody, this and that, I look at you so, and I keep moving, moving. But I don't value it, I don't value it around me because at the end of the day, I still remember where I come from. Respect, Sean. All right. I'm well said. Well said. Did you write much with um, Sandy Holly? Yeah, I get Sandy Holly last three years of writing. Mm -hmm. And I, um, has taught me a lot, Sean. Writing with Sandy in the last three years and how his career has ended in Canada. I want the world to understand this, that I, I bring back memories, as what my dad said, it's dog eat dog. I only here for a time. And take the opportunity and ride the best horses. And then when Sandy has moved back from California, I remember uh, Beverly Buck, Big Horse, which was the best horse in Canada. And it was trying to get Todd off it for me to ride it. And it was a whole dispute. And he flipped me gates and et cetera, et cetera. But Sandy, last three years, I'm telling you, I straightforward, no bands. The last three years in Canada, as a champion, he, he didn't get the respect. and um, I went to California for three winters and uh, I met up with all the top writers. And he's actually one of the best writers you work ever see, Sean. He heard it from me. Um, Lucky Pink Eye, he told me this. Hey, boy, say he's the greatest. Hey, boy, say call there with this, that, et cetera. Depends on where you're going in the United States of America. And, Laffy tell me, Hazi, in my he asked me English. <laughs> and we, we team on him. <laughs> he must still be me. He must still be me. He is the boss. He is the boss. He is the boss. I mean, Laffy had this conversation so many times. So many times. Are we out? Are we out? Are we out? And I, I thought I called Dero. Carter said, That one, Sadi? Oh, Lord. Well, I'm going to ask you. 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 The man is team up for the man. The man went to San Anita. Right? This is no joke, no like Sean. Do the do the research about it. The man San Anita and do the good for the first year. And the man might call him back up there. And, and mm -hmm. call him back, don't know. What? Nobody. My man was gone, 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 gone. I mean, it was 7,000 races here. And the yeah. man returned back home. You know, San Hollywood when he won one championship in Canada. When he won? Only one how do you research? I do research about every jockey and about everything about Canada or Tracy. My win one championship here. My win one championship. You might dominate California. Holly was the boss and he's gone down as the world's greatest jockey. I tell you from this is what the big boys tell me. This is mm -hmm. this is jockey talking. Mm -hmm. He's the greatest. What about the man? This is what all in races he <laughs> Sandy pull back here, pull back here, bam, get your job done. And they gotta respect it because at the end of the day, you gotta respect people in horse racing. And in my opinion, what's up with 7,500 races, old man? Or 65, I think 75. You gotta respect. You gotta respect that and, and life must live on, man. You, you gotta respect people that who have been successful in any industry or any horse racing game that has gone further. Do you have any relationship with younger jockeys right now? I can be honest with you. I like to be straight. Horse racing is an industry and sad because when I say this song, yeah, mad. Cricket. Right. I come back here and I go all over Canada, I go to the States and all that. And they're knocking the young cricketers. So this horse race is not going into cricket, but I just did tell, tell you. And for me as a jockey, I want everybody to do better than me. I went a horse race too long. Because when I went to Canada, I was only one good for a little bit, make a little bit of money, come back home. Uh, what I learned there, come back to eat jockeys. And I find I don't care who get vexed with me. I only speaking from my point of view. The all the people that who went there done that stuff like that. They're still looking in terms. I just speaking this year straight up. Sean, answer this question. 
It's called, we call the guys back there and learn this, this, and that. You gotta understand that everybody finance don't fall in the same level. Back in the days of cricket, listen to me, back in the days of cricket, there was a pain, no money. So if you could pay a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, I will respect that. But if the ball pay, 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 don't knock the young cricketers, man. See where you could go in there and make sure what these young boys could do. So now, et cetera, et cetera, I dropped this here remark. And again, I said, oh, when I go in there to have an interview with these little young boys, all upon cell phone, honey, and call you back, honey, and me here, mommy, this, girlfriend, this, this, or that. So <laughs> that ended up, it created a monster. So it doesn't matter who I speak to, but when you see Patrick husbands, which is this year, walk away from Woodbine restaurant. I can't wait to get a jockey school. And in a pain, but, but unfortunately, in my times, is money. But in these guys' times, is no money. So, and I disrespecting these guys, you know. I want to see if there's 30 more Barbados, go so. I want 30 more, 30 more better than Patrick Husbands. That is just the part of Patrick Husbands' heart. And God love me and respect me for who he is today. What about apprentice jockeys oh. going to North America, well, to Canada? Do you feel right, that Sean, we should get more jockeys going to Woodbine instead of out west? Sean, Are our guys good is, enough? Sean, this is a dispute here about horse racing of the world. <clears throat> and I want people to take this here serious, right? I take this here serious, serious, serious. If I do a documentary about horse racing in the world, it's the Spanish and the kind of Barbadians, right? The Spanish, they're going to every race track, but they won't deal with the top, but they didn't deal with the bottom. How much, how much riders that is to the bottom that never make it? They're only going to the top, so this is Spanish, right? This is the best, right? <laughs> Take Barbados. It's, the Southern Caribbean, more to the right, et cetera, et cetera. In the last... I top on it 25 years. We have five race tracks in Canada. Barbadian riders is not in Vancouver. But we have five race tracks in Canada. And Barbadians dominate them in the last five years. And Barbadians has been the most championships at the five race tracks in Canada, Sean. This is English and and just Google it. We dominate there's five, we dominate four race tracks. Mm -hmm. In the last five years, Patrick has was his word mine. Oh, everybody that we met, stepping stones, stepping stones, stepping stones. I was only unfortunate, and I hope it get better. So mm -hmm. I don't want a boy feel that like I'm my head bigger than anybody. I want everybody who come here me better than me, and I can't wait to happen. So mm -hmm. don't dispute the mm -hmm. facts that I'm speaking to you. Mm -hmm. So you got Winnipeg. Since Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Fort Erie, and Woodbine. In the last 25 years, Barbados is the champion. Everything in Barbados, Sean, get real, man. The Canadians want every, nearly everything in Barbados, man. From the Lightning Power, the Billy Prison, the Billy Airport, everything in Canada, you can also own by Canadians. British, they kick out the British. Why Barbadians? You have jockeys. All over the world, can get a work permit to ride at Woodbine, mm -hmm. right? And it's hurting me now, but I don't involve in nothing at Woodbine. And I don't involve in. so everything that called me for interviews and stuff like that. Sean, I only respect you because you're doing this interview, you know, because every time you do an interview, everybody lashing out at you. So, I, I, my whole life of being at Woodbine. I learned through the great vines and, and watching on the guys' interviews and hearing this boy, that boy, but so he but he said this, you believe he said this, but he said this, but he and, and he forget where he come from this and that. Uh, and I tell myself, I will never pa that way. But just as causes you, right? That my career is at, at the end. If you do me ten years ago and never do an interview with you and I'd be in straight up. My career at the end and I don't care is about the future about Barbados. And about the writers about Barbados, mm -hmm. that the successful they have. You have jockeys from China, India, South America, uh, all over the world can ride at Woodbine, but Barbados can't ride at Woodbine. They will go Western Canada. My advice, and I and I speak this here right now, 
you need to get a Canadian lawyer as an apprentice and you can write that word by. They can't stop you. And I, Patrick, has been saying this to you and this show here. It's not right that you could you could be from any part of the world and you can write a word by. And Canadians own Barbados. Las Vegas or the Caribbean is Barbados and the Canadians own Barbados. Why is it? Word by your extract. Why is it? Why is it? Can you explain it to me why it is why it's done like that? Sean, I'm not. Let me tell you something. I'm going back there next week. Mm. I, I, I hear them talking. I, I don't canceling races and this, that about the race track. This, and you, and you never see me no interviews at World Bank Race Track because Sean, you gotta stay away from the media because when you are talk, anything you say, it going thirty different ways to get back to you. You can say your horse is no good, your horse is a rat. This, this, that, 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 that. but you see, if I say this. Sean, when it get back to you and your owners, and it's true, y'all own the horse, you don't even want to speak to me. Blah, blah, blah. So I don't get, I, I don't get, to get me an interview, Leroy got to come good, Gary Kemplin, Tom Patton got to get me good to get interview. I do not do interview. I respect you, Sean Hall, and respect me for this. I don't do interview. And I being straight up, this guy in world wise, and I just tell the point. Why that Barbadians dominate the four, there's five race tracks, but we don't know that. Barbadians don't know Vancouver. We dominate the five race tracks. And Canada only hold the Barbados. And Barbadian bug riders and Barbadian riders can't go to World Bank unless they marry somebody or got papers. And you got Chinese, Japanese, Portuguese, and everybody. And Canada own Barbados. Sean, it done. I done with that conversation. Let me move on. I want to, before we move on, I don't want to go back to Woodbine, but I want to go back to Vancouver. Why is it that Bajans don't ride in, in, Vancouver, in, um, in Vancouver or BC? It's, it's next to California and it's way oh, okay. out. So you, you oh, will get okay. California riders there, but that's oh, okay. way, 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 way. That's about gotcha. 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 eight, nine gotcha. hours. That's really out. And, and actually, we have um, Recall Walk Up. We have a lot of Barbadian riders. Oh, you, two, you two walk up boys going to be a lot of big races and stuff like that but that is so next to the border of california that it's not really but that situation there about the barbadian riders can't ride a wood by i want one to understand but by, by tomorrow morning when they hear the interview get a lawyer for canada and they can't stop one from writing and patrick has been saying so let me go for it next I question sean i love it <laughs> <laughs> well said well, let me ask you this because I don't know if Sean, you're ready for your question, but I got one that might be Go ahead. might be a good one. Um, in terms of uh, relationship with Mark Cassie, how important was with you, him, and your career? Oh, sorry, Daddy, Daddy Mark Cassie. I don't even know to call him. Um, <clears throat> Mark, I just saying. Um, I was in there Ricky times. Yeah. My brother Anthony, Martin and his wife. This is a little bit. I I, I, I got shared too. Um, <laughs> when Kathy was training there, Kathy was trying to get me on horses. And Mark don't want me. Mark is a market. So Mark lived over the border, etc. We come and see his wife, etc. etc. Kathy. Is it only barn at wood by had be a black black rooms beside Larry Severe? Kathy don't hurry no boy unless the black. I don't know what that was, etc. I come and find that. I'm not saying that she was prejudiced, etc. etc. Don't misunderstand me for nothing I'm saying. And I come up once a week and get on the horses, get on the horses and breeze the horses. And Kathy would say to Mark, Can I get him to So how I call cool say the sword. In my belly big, in my heart sleeping. So every four or five days is breezy. Not every six, seven days. And everybody knows that's that's pretty hard. And who says breeze, they can't get water in the shade. Because as they say, every horse has a different personality. They can't get water in the shade. Who said that? Uh, you can stumble on, you burn, you're you going to start, you sleep, 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 sleep. So I think to give you this criteria that they say all horses got different personalities. He's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> hey brother Addy say he's a big one. The boss is there sleeping. So to get eat food, 
They put your phone in the stall. My mom sleeping. I always snoring. Always snoring. <laughs> With females, you always snoring. Belly big. You can't wait to take it fast. Hey, boys, be there. And then jockeys got be there, be there. So that was my first ride for Kathy. Are you mean? Right? So that was uh, excited. But to get another ride for Mark, Kathy can work, can work, can work, can work. So when actually, sorry to say this, when Mark and his wife broke up, it was my career. Start off. Because I was ready for Rebecca, all the madmen. And Re was helping me out. And then when Mark and his wife broke up, I'm proud to say that. I ended up being first call for Mark Gassi. And we just keep sailing from there up and out. So over 24 years, that's where my success would come from. Hmm. Wow, wow. I mean, just like, um, it's funny because you said it's that divorce. And if you remember when we spoke with uh, Atfield, he said it took a divorce to make him shift gears and, and leave England and come to Canada. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all of these stories. And if you hear me again, the boy won't hear it. Oh, so if we found a good man, if we found a good woman, you know, some of these things would never happen. Should we, should we say it like that? My work both ways, man. It, it, it could be you problems too, taking out horse racing. Because horse racing is very stressful. You leave dark, come home dark. And you can't take your horse, you can't take your stress from races to home. And and I and I say this to people all the time, and it's a little bit cold, and it's a little bit straightforward. I start my family life late, because I was always about goals, and see how my father can provide for me. And my dad, didn't, my dad didn't had anything. His mom was gone, my dad didn't had no future and stuff, and I had to have kids, 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 and we just had to defend for myself. And then I was lucky and successful. So I don't want to, that is say I supposed to be the youngest. I supposed to be the smartest. So I want to make sure that when I do have kids, I keep dodging that bullet. When I do have kids, I want to make sure my kids are successful and get the best education, the best of this and this. And that's what I'm doing right now. And it was pretty sad to see that I know start life. After I now met you all this year. So all the champions, and Sean, you can jump them. And they can jump y'all. Every jockey on the fifth divorce that was champion writers. And I Google that. I just Google everything. <laughs> so I Why don't you use a master, me. man? You're a master, Daddy man. Me, you know you, re Daddy you do some me, research, man. <laughs> Daddy tell me you can't go that route. All champions <laughs> and every I do all my research, research, research. So uh, I I remember this yet. Yeah. Your family, why? Why are you gay? Why so, watch all the solar under the ice solar. But all oh, y'all, as horse racing is a circle, if you start as a groom or a hot walker, you get in by that same circle, and you can't left that sport. So, I also watch and google everything and see everything. No, before Google come out, call my friend, go the first man start with Google. No, my friend, go, I google you already, but my guess. Man, she's a rat on my fingers. So my Google, she already. That's about 30 years ago. Google only you know come out the last 10 years. But my think was the first man I started going. But I was doing research about jockeys, about trainers. And you start, in, you start here, you can end back here because you love the sport. And you got to find a way to beat the system. And and I search. And if you Google it right now, call my finger, I said Google it. And that's 30 years ago. They had Google. All the writers. That was stock writers throughout the whole of the United States of America. They're on the fifth marriage. And they're back. You see them where to start. And I make sure as Daddy say you're the youngest, you gotta be smartest. And for. But the more the more of that story is, is that you, you made sure you kept your house and, and everything you owned. That's the more of that Quite story. Right, you're right. And the kids <laughs> no, when it when they gone, the kids get everything. I'm right. not disrespecting women. Don't misunderstand no, what I'm saying. No, I'm just 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 saying. Hey, yeah, right. I'm just just saying. Patrick, they can don't you want it. fix your, your camera so we can see the whole you? Well, yeah. Are you still here? <laughs> yeah, but I'm just just saying, you know, this is why in horse racing, in the industry, I don't do interviews because 
I I don't understand what interviews is all about. And everybody just want to hear you say the wrong word and then it it, it gone your way. And I just say when they first start, I say, I only doing this to Sean. I don't I don't care how much money you got, how much interview, because people just want something on you. But Sean Vive is like my vibe. Let 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 people understand what life is about and what it's supposed to be and just just share it share it share it even your retire even your this or that come out on this let people know what's going on before people still thinking that you feel you're too big up your this and that but then realize how far you come and how hard you work and and what you have succeed and you know you, you gotta share things and show love and respect and do not disrespect human beings. No, the old no. I get, Patrick, the old I get, I look back at guys like Sonny Holder and those sort of guys. You know what I mean? Thank God, Mr. Walton, Goffey Group, and all those guys still living. The talent, the talent, the talent. Yeah, I, I would get to them. But Sonny Holder it was a man that you would love to hear what. It was like back in the forties and fifties in Barbados, writing. You know what I mean? Against all those English jockeys and that kind of stuff, and he was the only Barbadian. Now I have guys that you know who have done it all, and I, I'm I'm so blessed that I can speak to you that we know what you came from. We've heard all your injuries, and the only thing left now to talk about is your future. But well, before Patrick even add to that, Sean, I just want to say, like, for us, and I, I, I think that our Barbadian culture, society, I mean, in Canada too, we should always cherish people like Patrick because, you know, in our culture, in Barbados especially, a lot of times we don't really no. appreciate what we have. You got I'm, right. I'm being serious right now. Sometimes right. we see a person who is very yeah. down to earth, a person who speaks. The way how we speak, grow up speaking in Barbados, you understand? And we can go in and out of Barbadian and go, you know, I mean, we can do all kind of stuff. But when when our, our people see us speak a certain way, act a certain way, shake hands with our neighbors and sit on the, on the side step and talk, they figure like we are nobody or something. But we should always appreciate these guys, man. These guys set the way for a lot of other guys and they're well respected all over the world. But times we don't really get it until they're gone you know what i mean no i mean listen what i respect is most of all i respect what patrick's brother Otis anthony what he's done to create patrick husbands that to me is the best story out there because encouraging patrick to come to canada was the biggest i think i don't I, I don't know how big that was, but bigger move that was back then. You know what I mean? Well, he's right here. Let's yeah, hear his then. thoughts on that. Back then, tell me, back then, when Anthony was begging you to come to Canada, you think that what your life would be how it is right now, back then, thinking of that? John, cheers on that. <laughs> Johnny, I'm Patrick, husband's here speaking. Uh -huh. I come three times to Canada, visit my brother. Breaking, um, we go back, um, I got my 1989, we go back. The first time I come to Canada, probably 87, 88, and 89. Sean Hall, Patrick, husband speaking to you and being straight up, right? <clears throat> And the followers of Patrick Husbands, what he has done and stuff like that. <clears throat> the journey to Canada was not nice. The journey all together was not nice. And Sean, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell the followers today, right? <clears throat> what you have for you, all the charms he had. The three years, so 87, 88, 89. Me and my brother breaking all the horses. You know, you know my brother, Annie, give me all the bad ones because 
I was fair about life and etc. It's only after years passing back. <clears throat> and I keep getting my shit every year. And then after in um, 95, 94, 95, I tell you more, can 95. I've been a champion in 94, time the reigns of Charlie Jones, 52. Record is still there. Mm-hmm. And uh, I come to Canada, Sean. So I, I, I tell my brother, the two, three years I was being there with him. When I moved out of Canada, I would never stay at your house. I had more name, so I was, I was very mature my age. As you know, the little wicked vagabond, we won't call him brother. And um, I went and stayed with Aunt Shirley, which is who brought my brother to Canada. And yeah. They met in the library. And Aunt was going to get rid of classes and stuff like that. Yeah. that what he what he had in Barbados in terms of hustling and stuff like that. So Aunt is going to get classes with Aunt Shirley and stuff like that. So all the whole family get, get reunited and get to understand that there's we family here now in Canada. And um, I went to Fort Erie. Things don't work out. Uh, I'm back up. And then the next morning, Annie picked me up. So what are you going to do? I said, oh, I gave Annie Shirley. Give Annie Shirley. And then Annie husbands asked me, Patrick, what are you doing? I said, well, I can stay by Annie Shirley. He said, but you can live in my basement. I said, but oh man, you want know, your basement though? My brother told me these words, Sean. So we can do. I said, I live in house, so. So you see in the basement. So I saw right, I can get that figure out. So I went, Uncle, 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 Uncle um, Cam McLeod and Andy Shirley. And I said, All right. I said, Cam, how can I repair my brother's basement? Which I was handy from Barbados. He said, All right, we can get CDs. And if I got CDs, I tell, I do everything, toilet bowl, put in everything. I carpool my brother. I was there for a month. He said, Carpool is thirty dollars. Sean is straight for you know Sean. He said carpool is thirty dollars. I said well, I could afford right now off the bottle come on Barry, I could afford five fifty a week. It's straight for you know. And I want my brother here to see it. And and this is things that you gotta understand. And this is real, Sean. I said five thirty and I can carpool, which is thirty dollars more. I repaired the whole basement and I said, the doctors of my pair. You know, if a little bit uh, my time, my brother come to the top of the stairs, Sean Hall, and so you got to let me play. And you know, every day, every day, Sean, my brother can't get food. I care about his family. And I look after his kids when they come downstairs. You mind me, God, let me play. Never disrespect him, man, because dear love and respect, Sean. There's a man that maybe moved to Canada, you know. There's what people got to understand about. How people get you do this and do this and this, but don't understand is and they only understand when you make it. But is this real and reality? Man, we got the house. I know you respect the man, me and the man, me and my brother like this. Yeah, Godfather, strike me dead. It, I call it all people. He got a place in many restaurant. And I move out. Never disrespect my brother, curse my brother, nothing. And you know the fight, the fight. You know the you know you know what going on, Sean. I call it down. I get a place. So now it's, I get a little job. Kathy says, see me at one way. Try to walk and I run walk. He was assistant. So I saw Kathy. I said, so Kathy Patton, which is Mark Cassidy, what I used to say, you want a little job? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. I worked two days. I would say, cool. So you went in the boys. You know, you pick a stall, you go in the, st- you go in the office. I go in the office. So I went in the t- and I do as all. And I will never forget this here. I knocked my brother, you know, because he's who made me come to Canada. But, but what he did to me, Sean. So, unfortunately, I was in the door next door, and I was in there too long. And I come out, and here he on the phone telling Kathy Patton. And I wanted to hear this here. He in there sleeping, farhi, farhi, farhi. And Keith Pollard, Barbadian today, would tell this same story. Him and um, Paul Attar. Not Paul Attar. Uh, Paul, I forget his name. Paul de Souza was one to kill my own brother for me. I didn't speak to my brother for seven years. And this is a man that let me come to this country. Sean, I respect this here. And I said, boy, this is what it is. And two and a half years, three years later, as a champion. And then about four years later, I forgive him. I'd be a man today, Sean. 
and the people people is people people don't understand that when when you are here to share these stories, but you only here to show these stories because you make it anyway. You make it Sean the boy here, boy here with us, Sean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You understand sure. me? He made me come to Canada. I used to, he plays and he would live. He played about five years. I had nothing in any place. And I get CDs and busy place from what we learned in Barbados. And you put me up within a month. And I hold it down to the old people. And the people get me a place in the West End. Blah, blah, blah. And then now, four days later, you try to get one for me. All right, Sean. And let me tell you, if I forget about that. And seven years later, he was back in my life. Sean, I forget that. Forget that. Forget that. And life must move on. But so when you say to yourself as Ricky Griffith thing, you Ricky first, you and Anthony come and make a step of stone. I am proud of that. I'm proud that the first time I got ready green split, I had to pay the trainer dinner for me to ready green split around a lot. Now I'm seeing Jack Lee and these guys walking in, that's riding horses in the Queen Split and there's nothing. I'm proud of I'm proud of things like that. Because life must move on. Not because you're from Barbados. It's just how life's supposed to move on. Life is sweet, Sean. Start envying people and, and try to, you know, downgrade people, but they will know who you got here and what is the future here. You've you got to love one another. And, and you know what? Really. All right. Now, you, you talk about, now, the husband's family is a, is a complicated, um, I don't know. It's very complicated. Is it safe to say the ups and downs in your family at times? Man, Sean, it came from my my white family. My mother was black. Sorry, my mother was white and my father was black. And that whole right. black industry come there. But Sean, as I always say this here, white people make me today. I'm not prejudiced. I don't want a boy fair let him around me. Because that's how life is. And my problem about me that is bothering me, everywhere I go, I get treated like garbage. And when I find out who I is, I just hold it down and just walk away. Which other people who make it in this world, so I can't speak for everybody, will lie based them. And I just say, treat all of we as one. So my whole life, I never go down downtown. And I tired proving it to Ricky Griffith. Jonathan Jones and everybody. And my ex girlfriend Chantal. You get disrespect where you go downtown Toronto. Ricky's tell me all the time, he's a downtown man, he never get disrespect. I said, Roger, Roger that. But at the end of the day, I stay on my hole and I stay on my grounds. Love, unity, and respect. White people today is who make me who is today. I have no grudge against no white people on God earth. Who envy me as white, who envy me as black. You can't change this inside of me. This Patrick husband's here. Watch that. Well, Patrick, you definitely is a rock star, as some people may say. Let me tell you, like everything you that you said so far, like so far, like it can come straight out of your heart, and it feels pure, genuine, right? Um, and that is what I like about you because with that 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 kind of like i don't know what it is there's something about great people that makes them do and say things you know what i mean like in a certain way that a champion says it you know what i mean like even if you say something it hurts somebody's feeling it still feels like a winning statement where you where you learn that from my it's a challenge it's a challenge in terms of i'm a leader i'm not a follower because Sean said this here, Ray. Hey, watch it. <laughs> hey, watch it. You see, I'm here uh, cooking. I'm a chef. I'm a mason. I'm a carpentry. I could do anything. Don't let me see it. Do, do it once. I'm a. I. I. I, I get it. But in horse racing, now we, we, we. This is a horse racing topic here. You have to find the way to skin the bird. You gotta find the way to skin the horse. You didn't know damn animals. You got to find a way. And to find a way, I am a horse whisper. I observe everything and put a zip on your mouth. 
that is the respect I got for horse racing. But Shaw Hall wanna tell me that the horse is he's assistant. That's a rat, that's a rat, that's a rat, that's a rat. Sean assistant. I can show you an example, right? Sean is assistant for 30 horses. But I don't know what he wanted that horse there. That horse sore. This, that, this, that. Let me say anything. Sean gonna about to tell you. I'm not saying Sean, but this is an example. Sean, who? He wanted that horse. He said sore, 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 sore. Tell me about it. He know the groom not tell he did da 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 You can't ride him horse for that man. That is Tin line of horse racing, and horse racing was always a tin line. The horse and goody gets get lost, flip over. You get trap, trap, trap. It's called king of sports. It's all about winning, 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 winning. You could be Tory Lance and Frank win. You treat the riders. You be Tory Lance last. Why he do he fall asleep? I get beat. But you could Tory Lance last. I still can't have any rest. All of us going to fight. It's all about winning. Speaking of winning. After you lost that um, the international race, I think it was the following year, and back and you won the uh, was it the Atto Mile, the Dubai uh, yeah. Mile. I won Bless both of them. That I'm more sure you won both of them that year. I'm more sure you won both of them that year. Atto Mile and the the, the Met Mile. The Matt, Matt Mullen, yes, yes. I think so. Sure I, it was a big year. When I look back at all your, your past, let me, let me put it in Patrick Husband's terms for Patrick Husband, the jockey. When I look back at Patrick Husband's past performances, I saw that that year was a big year. But let's look at the, uh, the Woodburn Mile one more time. We'll go back upstairs to Dan Lewisell. Danny? All set. Waiting for a break. And they're off in the auto mile. And wake at noon. Broke like a bullet for the early lead. A firm success is right there numerous times is toward the hedge. Hard currency is on the outside toward the rail. Quiet resolve. Dawson's legacy in amongst horses, as is Blast of the Storm and Slough Valley. Then Bronze. Down at the fence is Kimber Light Pipe. Then uh, back to uh, City West, Alea Eakdas, Red Sea. Irish Prize trails this field. The opening quarter in 23 seconds flat. Wake at noon, flaunting his speed. Bailey has a firm success planted at Wake at noon's flank. Hard currency is in a third position. Numerous times is fourth. Dawson's legacy saves ground with less than a half mile to run the opening half mile in 45 and three. Wake at noon, his agenda set. He's playing catch me if you can. A firm success and a perfect stocking position. On the outside, here comes Slough Valley with an energetic run for Mario Pino as they come to the top of the stretch. Wake at noon, a firm success. Hard currency, Slough Valley, quiet resolve on the far outside. Numerous times is set down. It is a firm success as they come to the final furlong. On the outside is Slough Valley. Here comes numerous times. A firm success, put to an all-out drive, numerous times, quiet resolve, Irish Prize has come from 14th, they're running out of ground here, a firm success, a numerous times, and quiet resolve, and a gut-wrenching photo finish in the Addo Mile. Never ceases to amaze me the finishes in this race. Who do you like, Mr. Port Wando? Well, I'll tell you what I like is that final time, it equals the course record, 132 and four, and it is tight. Great drama. Racing is about drama. And uh, right now, Bob Harvey is the man leading the horse to our right, and he is giving the big wave. This is a gentleman that thought he would go out. It certainly was, and what a huge weekend for trainer Seta Tard. I mean, it started yesterday, Jim, in the first division of the Natalma for the two-year-old fillies with Ginger Gold, and now he caps it off with this huge win here. Well, he did, and he is noted for a trainer at one time in his life that couldn't win a turf race, and now he seems to win the big ones. And again, just to recap this story, this is a story about a horse that got up off a deathbed to win this race. It's a story about an owner that had faith enough in the game and the way it's played in Canadian racing right now to tell his friends to invest. 
And it's a story about a jockey, Patrick Husbands, who thought he was robbed of this country's most important race in the Canadian International last year when he lost the photo. And he has come back to redeem himself. And he had faith in this horse, Jason. Faith is a key word. Somebody told me to have faith in this I wanted it to play it all the way to the end to hear Jim yes. Vannon saying yes. it's all about a jockey, Patrick Husbands, who thought that he got robbed the year before. And I just wanted to go back to Patrick's um, competitiveness. You know, how that felt, Patrick? <laughs> I've been straight for rest in peace, Bob Harvey. He um, he passed away last year. And um, since since that race, it, it more sure about three, it was, it was a fight team. I think it was a fight team, and about two of them passed, so and unfortunately, probably about three of them passed. So I could be wrong. Yeah. Um, Bob Harvey, he's been in the industry for a decade, and he's a good marketer in the horse race in Canada. And um, I ran what, three straight with numerous times. His times is not good. His, his ratings is not good. And, um, on the sand. So one day, say, tell me you're going to put him on the turf and tell me what you think. Uh, I put him on the turf. I'm sorry, I, I wrote him on, him on the turf the morning. And say, Bob Harvey was there. Say, leave Bob Harvey about 300 yards, 400. I can't meet me. So said, what do you think, Jock? I said, this is the best horse in the world. Say, so you better stop it here running anything. As a speedy, you better stop it. And I didn't want Sid to hear the interview because Sid knew I'm straight. Because you know me, I spot you. I said, I'm going to bank. This guy work. I said, speedy, you better stop it. This is the world's greatest. You better stop it. There's a norm there's a tree right there. La, 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 la. And I keep quiet. So when I get back, which is 200 yards, 25 yards, or we want to call it, Bob Harvey asked me, Patrick, what do you think? He is the world's greatest. Nobody could beat him. Say it is human, <laughs> right? So I entered the horse. When I see the PPs on Kimberlite Pike, oh my God! Say, come and he was yelling at my yelling at my agent. Your rider is crazy, and da 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 da. He thinks he in Barbados, and the word never stop. When I do the handicapping, Kimberlite Pike. Up to this day, he's probably the best horse ever come to Canada. And Patrick has been saying this. His speed rate is 118.19. His worst was 114. Google it right now. <laughs> My horse only highest was 74. So 74 is in the south coast is from Shafet to KSC. So that's 25, 30 legs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So that was just like Patrick Husband just walked right in the auto of mine. <laughs> right? Kimberlite Pike. In my worst buyer, 140. What my best horse up to this day? Can't even run 105 bear. <laughs> up to this day, as it's speaking in 2022. In my worst buyer is 114. In my 1870, Google it after he put on the phone from y'all. Straightforward. <laughs> Kimberlite Pike. He's go to the go to the lead and you gotta and you can't beat him. Unfortunately, coming up, as you know, in horse racing, as Sean will tell you, in North America it was Jay Bailey every time. Right? He had that Cordero before him, Cigar Mac, Jay Bailey, et cetera, et cetera. But Jay Bailey every time. And Jerry's ready all his stars. And then we have Samson with the big horse. But Paul Cable, which is my idol, and which I learned everything from. I break sharp. Blah, 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 blah. I never ran a turf yet. Never ran that far yet. I'm out. I only got seven for loans, right? I ran three times. I went all three times. And I sit here, sit here, sit here. Just before you swing home, the man swamped me. And I had no way to go. I tip out. Jay Bailey, the world's greatest. <laughs> Patrick Husbands, Fars, yeah. Talk Cable, Canadian champion. Why did that? <laughs> Sean, my cheers to Sean. My you have the last cheers, 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 che
Yeah. Well, I, I'm glad you keep yeah. saying Sean and not me. I'm glad I don't have oh, well, nothing else going on. No, he's a he's get in. Uh, I'm he's starting to feel left start. out. I'm starting to feel nah, left nah, out. Nah, my apologies. <laughs> my apologies. My apologies. My apologies. So we bottle, my Sean was there out there. We bottle, yeah. bottle, 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 bottle. I in the middle. I was a toasted hamburger in the middle. You know what I mean? Well, done a hamburger, right? And it burned up. And ain't got no moisture inside of it, right? And we bottle and bottle and bottle of tree. We head, head to over to. So, after the past, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I thought Kevin Clear fall against me. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, he got more experience than me. Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, he's intimidation. But he can't intimidate me. So, the shores asked me, uh, Mr. Husbands, what? Sorry, Patrick, uh, we want to call it. What is your problem? But Mr. Cable, they are falling against us. So they always call you Mr. I said, um, this guy have a problem. I have I have a free run into it. So uh, the inquiry was a little interesting because everybody was paused to see what I really do because, you know, my name is now coming out there. I had to do something to win the race because my horse is probably about 30 to 1 or 40 to 1, something like that. So... The the inquiry was, you know, was to the back door. So I was proud to see that I beat the world's greatest in terms of horse racing, Jerry Bailey, which is one or two or one. You know, we want to call it me, him, and Todd Kibble. So unfortunately, I won the race. I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear. So the strike before the wet, I was a bad third. The strike on the wet, I went, and the strike after the wet, I was a bad third. So I can't answer m- more than that. <laughs> now, look, one thing I tell you though, Patrick, uh, I got people that come up to Toronto where I live, and they come from Barbados, and the and they say, okay, what do you guys want to do for the weekend? I say, okay, let's go watch Patrick Husband ride a race. And let me tell you something. We can look at all kind of races, and, I, and believe me, I'll tell you this: this is why people at that time don't get odds on you anyway, because they'll tell you they don't bet nobody else but Patrick Husband. Like everybody from Barbados that ever come and visit me, they say we don't care who's in the race. We are going to play Patriot Husband. The influence that you have is unbelievable. It's not influence. It's not influence. Let me tell you this here right now. It's not influence. And this is this is what stand out in Patriot Husband. And I'm living. I'm not Bob Marley to speak after he death. I'm here speaking the truth. The handicapping and the stress that I go through up at night, a handicapping and don't sleep. You could call the races in Canada in the last 10 years, five years, six years, seven years. Just call the horse name and they could tell you who ride the horse and who should do this and who do that. And they say crazy. Just call ask anybody who knows about your husband. You call a race. 10 years, 8 years, 9 years, because I watch these races over and over. When I go home, ain't about a child, ain't about a wife, ain't about county garbage, ain't about this, that, this, that, this, that. I about horse. We see how races done. I live, 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 live. When I leave races, I need care apart, talking to my agent. If you can't talk to me after races, go to my morning, the day before me, organizing my workers. And they tell X, Y, and Z. And they always tell my agents, do not leave that barn with your tail between your legs and pull out. You got to leave like a pit bull. Mm-hmm. Why you ain't do this? Why you ain't do this? You tell them step by step by step by step. You got to sit in the car park. That's for the future jockeys who left in Barbados or who, who, interesting. You have to go in the car park and go race by race by race by race. Your agent the next morning. Do not leave your tail between your legs. Don't let no trainer disrespect you. Don't let no trainer disrespect you. You have to work as a team. That's your opinion, but there's one way to tell me. And then you go from there. If you go to the bar next morning and, you, and the agent don't have no backup, the trainer gonna let the bar off of you. You have to always have a backup. And that is part of your husband's backup. And then when my agent back up this year and he left the key team. Like, I see you do your job though, over. And then next morning train up face and I see he face Ben up, Ben up, Ben up, Ben up. But it's a thin line. It's a thin, thin line and Sean will tell it's a 
ten long in King Horse, is it? Hey, you gotta work your way. All right, let me backtrack here now. <laughs> I try to get people understanding horse racing. Right? <clears throat> The tin line, British Cups all over the world is the world's, all the world's best horses as the world's best jockeys, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And this is the, 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 the problem that I was trying to get over. And I hope in your future, I will request this here to Sean that you will have last year we discussed you have a year before five years ten years 20 years from now this is an example of British cut races and this example come back to normal races unless somebody pay point to you right as a horse owner British cut races which I always I watch it. so much of them because I'm a horse idiot we watch a British cut race and your horse runs second, and you're in your box, you get no by bloody race. And that horse still win. George win. When you buy track and see the horse that who ran third, how much trouble that horse get it. Mm-hmm. And you look wow, 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 wow. And I, I tell me a moment, you and you able your box is human. And when you see and this, this is the next day, you know, this is about a month later or three years later or four years later, how much trouble the horse that who ran third get here, you know. And then about another five years later, I'm my answer. My horse should have won that race. Look at my horse, number six. And then you see how much trouble the horse get. <laughs> you want to tear God between your legs. And this is years ago, you know, you know. And then about 10 years later, I, I had my horse in the British couple 10 years ago. He ran against Cigar. And Cigar should have won that race. But my horse was not where my horse should have been to. And they said, all right, let me watch your horse, all right? And then when you watch your horse that ran six, how much trouble the horse get in? That should have won. And then, man, there's only one winning. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm, my suggestion to people in horse racing, so I'm going to watch British cat races. And it doesn't matter what year you're punching. And you watch the horse that won. She never won that race. <laughs> go back and watch the horse that ran second. Interesting, right? man. That, go back and watch the horse that ran third. And go back and watch the horse that ran fourth. And go back and the horse that ran fifth. And uh, all good trainers and all, as I say, horse racing is king of sports. So then rich people who lost the race go home and sleep good, and that was just them. People that who not, just the, the groom and stuff like that, is frustrated, right? But you see them in the nurse, they don't understand it's king of sports and it's tin line. And everybody got to shine and everybody got to live. And they don't understand the sport. As the N word, we only pass and chew. So we take what we can get and go back. So, yeah, but just from what you just said just now, right? How much homework you do to get other rides from other horses making bad mistakes or getting into trouble? Tell hey, me. Sean, these, these are things that I want to have on my book. <laughs> but they're. I will watch Ari Rand over and over and over. Um, as I explain to people, and I keep on saying, horse racing is a dumb animal. Right? So, for punters, you don't know if a horse got diarrhea. You don't know if the horse got temperature. Right? And then, if the horse got temperature, the stores don't know that. The punters don't know that. If you pull the horse over here, there's no more race for this horse for the next six weeks. Right? So, you are the trainer, man, whatever, whatever that. The horse will go there and win. Sometimes the horse will go there and get beat. Sometimes the horse got diarrhea all week. The punters don't know, like, don't know that. Sometimes the groom don't tell the trainer. The horse will go there and last. So it's a five team. Understanding horse races is a five team. And if you don't understand the five team, I explain it. There's the owner. There's the trainer. There's the groom. There's the exercise rider. And this is Patrick Husbands. So you understand that? English, <laughs> so everybody heard everybody yeah. heard everything from one another. Everybody heard everything from one another, and the truth is about the horse winning. That's all don't care how you look at it. Release the pressure. It's all about winning. I can explain to you now, and let me get real. 
Let's see who are listening to this here, right? That horse sore all the week, right? You put Ortiz on it, or Patrick has it, and go out there with That horse sore all the week, right? A Patrick has right, or Ortiz right, and then Brian Hoffman, like, man, I saw all week. He should, he looks like he got that way. That's just a game. A horse got four legs, all of rotate, different. You hear, you hear, you hear. The boy know when a horse can snap. So let me just get real. Sean, let me move on, Sean. I talking too long. No, but no, 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 no. You're not talking too long at all. You know who talks long? Your agent. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hello. 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 Yeah. Hello. That is my agent. <laughs> Your agent? Listen. But when Leroy, hold on, man. At... Hold on. Hold on. Leroy trying to break everything out. But it can't bring everything out. It, it got as like how how you picking when I pick it when I pick it when I call. You remember I read two books, you know. I read in a, a serious book and I read a love book. You know what I'm saying? About love book? Because oh, no, okay. I said love book then. I, I, I love for the sport. I love for the sport, Sean. Okay. Never kind of love. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I love for the sport. Oh, okay, right. And then you can you can't piss off the boy, not that, but now the ends and the, the the bumpy roads and the curves and stuff like that and and the fun that you can have in horse racing so i you gotta have everything you want you can't let one person read a book and that's it he's he he just talking and things and call he make it he's this and that you gotta you gotta have a cool class plan you know you know what i'm saying you got make everybody happy but this is what he's sport about and it's, it's money in the sport did you, you say something? Cool clan? Is that what you said? Glad that is mentioned here on this show. Yeah. <laughs> Clash clan, everything. Two books coming up, folks. You heard it here. Yeah, yeah, good in the bag. I'm you sorry, know, man. You know, you know, we already sealed that book through the roof, boss. No worries. Everything you want, Sean. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Everything in one, Sean. Uh, oh boy. So, but why want to ask you just now? <laughs> when how watching um numerous numerous times winning that race, right? Was he a song horse or would he just had an awkward action? Um, I'll be honest. Um, numerous times, he had a high name problem, and he okay. don't switch leads. He didn't his car, his head on the and he wasn't ready. Right, to right, right. See, he don't. He, he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't a strongest horse on this side. It, had some, it looked to me like he was just pure heart. He won a race on heart. Yeah. So he could not jog. Doesn't matter how much wrongs he gave him on his side. He could not jog. And um, okay. you put him at first, you carry turf off the back, you jogging, 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 jogging. So that is why I say that say, there's not a sea on horse. Mm -hmm. So after three wins, et cetera, et cetera. So it wasn't that I want to ride the automobile. It was, it was this year, Sean. Mm -hmm. you, right. you, know, you know what I'm saying? This, this remember me. My exciting story, but he met my that my daddy disappointed me. Mm. These stories that you got to share, right? And mm -hmm. in life, and my daddy know he disrespect me too. Mark Cassie, mm -hmm. exciting story, disrespect me, right? But the end of the day, he soon met me who is today, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I would, I would uh, not change the subject for you, I said this story, but um, I, you know, I, I sit on life horses, life horses every day, and I don't know about shipping, shipping and going right nowhere, because the other day you're winning the races, et cetera, et cetera, you're lost in all your, your horses are wood, man. Mm -hmm. So Mark tell my agent, he want me to me, and I was dodging him, because I was, I don't want to ship in and going nowhere. And um, my agent tell me, Mark want you to meet in the casino. But not in the casino, casino. Like, in the casino, but 
out for lunch, et cetera, et cetera, where he finished off. Mm-hmm. So he, he would never forget this day, boy. I went out there and I made him a mark. I mean, I'm having lunch or after, right? And then Mark Cassie, which, as he said, my dad, he said, you want to go to New York? I said, well, who? He said, it's like a story. I find a way to for him. And I, I said these words to him. And it's still, it's still, it's, it's still bothering me to this day. I can't wait to put this in my book. And, um, and I want to hear it. And he know it too. Um, you know, we did have a little fun and stuff like that. And it's an excited story. It's a boss. They're going to horse and any world could beat this horse right now. So really, he said, I got a race there for him in New York. La, 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 la. I said, yeah, we're going to write it. So he said, will you give me? A man asked me these words, you know, Sean, a man to man. He might ask me his words, you know. What do you want if you win anyway? I said, more BMW. I don't have like Barbie. I want BMW. I don't have a car. I want BMW. Mark said, no problem. <laughs> what am I? I mean, he wants to know what am I? When I went, I had barns, bears, bears, barns. I had all the big horses. Bears and barns. All the big horses. Chavez. All the more. So, and Greg and the had he the back. The man about on the four feet, a short little thing. <laughs> the man he stash, the man he stash like a bag of a bag of bananas. You know the raw bitch. The man he stash, he make him bring you. The man he stash in the back. So I went to my partner. I said, I said Greg, rest in peace, Greg. I said Greg, really big heart. My eyes, you go big one. I go behind the other, you behind the stash. So watch that. I mean, he wears no. So, Matt Mull was $750,000, about 40 to 1 or 80 to 1. And uh, when I get back, I know the, the, pony, the pony girl coming to me. Hi, Pat, you know it's to win the big race? I said, it's not about winning the big race. It's getting back to Toronto and get my beard <laughs> done. <laughs> I said, it's on that TV, right? You know, <laughs> that Mockingbird. <laughs> right, you might call Mark Cassie and say, hey, We really got to get this man a band that built here. Mark, oh no, oh no, oh no. You know what I get about the world, Mike? You know where Mark Cassie and my agent hide? A mock band that for me. <laughs> a small little car that my agent Tom Pannon went and bought in World Bank Mall. A small band that built. You really believe this, little Omar? <laughs> Oh, Sean, stop laughing, boy. This is like serious, yo. Yeah? <laughs> oh, my God. Let me, oh, Sean, stop laughing, I did, boy. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't expect laughing. that either. <laughs> a multi billionaire, rest in peace. Harry Mangrain Jr., rest in peace. Harry Mangrain Jr. Mark, tell him, I don't mind him. I got a car for him. <laughs> and my agent went to Woodbine Mall and get me a little car. So, oh, my. At 67, you don't want, oh, my. <laughs> I, 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 in my, in my own liquors, <laughs> in my own liquors, ball in Celtics, in my ball in Celtics, in my own ball in Celtics, and if a horse gap, barefoot little jockey, my chair's on that shot, I'm down with you, man. <laughs> you are doing for that, you are doing for that. <laughs> Harry, Mark told me this, Harry call him. Oh, we you really got to buy him? Oh, Mark said, don't worry him. I got one from the mall. Mark, tell me that, yeah? <laughs> That's, like, That's too funny, man. man. And Sean, Sean, the next day, Sean, the next day, are you right? To BMW, I ain't getting nasty with you, man. Because I tell you what, no, you know. Are you right, next day, BMW? Are you right, next day, BMW? And I, me and Ricky, River, me and Ricky, River, your best friend, we uh-huh. walk in there. And my boy paying me attention. So Ricky asked me to carry one. He said he want that. And the boy paying attention. And then he paid me attention. So Ricky went and he tell him, la 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 la. Ricky get mad, 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 mad. I want that. And I don't want la 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 la. la. Put your numbers on it. La 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 la. I got your numbers outside. La 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 la. And we drove over there and we went downtown Toronto. You understand what I'm saying? The valet we, but you know what it is. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A black man walking in there buying a car 
off the bat. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're, so, but you know, what are you trying to tell me you are Griff but into me on W then a buddy one? You next day? <laughs> I swear I don't have a light. Mark, Mark Cassie disrespect me, woman. Sixty-eight thousand dollars straight off the bat, and I tell him, I tell him, I want the car in about two hours. So don't, 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 don't. I want that car. And I Ricky, love, drive I it, Ricky, drive it off, off the market. I would love to hear Mark Cassie's side of the story. <laughs> nah, nah, but oh well, man, but he, he hear this here called the whole world to see this here. I, I swear with no man. <laughs> if you ever see Patrick Hasman with a bang, you are not speaking to Patrick Hasman. I straight with no bang. <laughs> and the next, the next two days, I, I had the BMW. Oh, Mark, I see bought that for him. I was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm great. But I just didn't carry, though. I just didn't carry suck it there where he had the car. We went to, um, I think it was the first day with Barbets on the water. Yeah, Griff said, true story, boy. Huh? Griff, the host. <laughs> Griff said true story. <laughs> that true story, one man. I, I serious. I serious. I serious. Next day, we can join the vehicle. As a man, anytime you hear anything on the patch, husband's mouth, I uh, will and I I mock. I will, uh, will, will. Sean, I understand this here. Uh, respect is respect. I do a value and disrespect anybody. Uh, and I'm glad to see that my dog, Ricky, is listening. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But comment. He next day at Walmart and I disrespect him too. Because uh -huh. they wouldn't give me no attention. Uh -huh. And then Ricky had to go and see he won manager for me to get that carrier. <laughs> Sixty-eight thousand dollars. I saw Ricky swipe and let me roll. That about forty uh, that about fifty years ago. Swipe and let me go, all right? <laughs> let me do it. Respect okay. all my I can now see why like they put you in a rock star category, man. Because everything about you is like just on a different kind of level. You know what I'm saying? It, my, it catches a my, lot of attention. But it's about respect. It's about respect and working hard and and seeing where we come from. And you, you know, the end of the day, like we family was there for weeks, so we had to make a name for ourselves. You know what I'm saying, Sean? Mm -hmm. Sean father had a name for himself. You know what I'm saying? But outside of me and coming to Canada, Sean had to make a name for himself. Ricky had a name for making himself. You know what I'm saying? All we had to make a name for himself. But it's the, it's the foundation that the last set of we who come out here make it for Barbadians. Wow. I got, I want to, I want to, I want to use, always use this, these terms. You want to, um, Tap back a little bit. It's a Bayesian turn. Tap back. So I'm looking at my little notes there. I'm seeing four grade one wins. Four Barbados Gold Cup. Are you planning on making a fifth? Boy, Sean, let me tell you something, right? <clears throat> we have a... Um... I like, to, I like to mix it up. I like to mix it up. You, you have uh, Jalon Samuel, which is an extremely good writer. Just want to polish it up for the for the the um, the big tracks, right? He won two World Cup. That hit me for six. I was in Trinidad. I always had a contract with Trinidad because the Barbadians, I like to be straightforward. Tommy Pierce tried everything, get me right in Barbados, et cetera, et cetera. And they hit him for six. And Tommy was adopted dad. And they turned it down, turned it down, turned it down. So Trinidad, before he started traveling, because my problem in Canada is when the shipping horses to Canada, because the, the outside trainers in the United States, America, English, don't know me. That was bothering me, bothering me. So the time you go to New York, this, 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 and that. But before that, I was going to train out every year on a contract for good money. And the Barbadians, Barbadian people, they don't want to respect that. So Mr. Pierce is at the meetings all the time. We go get Pat Travis here to get that, that, that. And I keep turning out Tommy Pierce. So I write in training that, and the Beijing's knocking me. But the Barbadian public don't understand that the Barbados Turf Club don't want to pay me no money to write in Barbados, but Trinidad has got me locked down. And I, and I, and I, and I, and I shared it. 
And Tommy don't want to tell me who's the name. I said, all right, Mr. Pierce, that is okay. <clears throat> but every time you come back here and you write any horse for them, they can tell you. But Tommy, hold it down, hold it down. So Trina was paying me good money to, I decide now to so that I need to win a championship in Canada, but I got to go to New York, Buffalo, and, and do that whole stream because I'm getting beat in these big races with these riders coming over, and I don't know the people over the border, et cetera, et cetera. So I had it done off a train that I do for four or five years. And going to New York and traveling there, that is how my um, career has taken off, again, in terms of meeting the trainers, meeting the trainers, you know what I'm saying? And that's what made me a little bit today. You know what I'm saying, Sean? Yeah, 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 I understand. Uh, that made me a little bit today. So mm -hmm. you, you can't participate right in the Caribbean and then right in, in North America. People got to get to know you. Even if you dominate the races, people still want to have that relationship with you. Mm -hmm. So even if I got one, two horses, you keep sending there, sending there. So that's how I ended up right in, in New York and, and where Mark was going, and et cetera, et cetera. Perfect. Well, well, well said. But hold on, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, though. I went off that loop by wagging it. What, what, what was the question you asked me? That's no question one. was you got four great ones here, and I can go on about all the other accomplishments and four gold cups in Barbados. Do you plan on making it a fifth? Because I know you used to have on par with the most amount, but now with Jalon getting the fifth, are you planning on making it a fifth? I know you're very competitive. But hold on, you are Barkley fan. <laughs> 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 the, the, the two, everybody, you know, the two go cut Jalon away. And let me get straight here now, right? See that horse that he won the last two go cuts, but right? isn't a joy, you know? I had a contract between that. I get off a little bag right there, Jesse. You know, I do contracts. I had a contract to train that. Good money, good money, good, good, good money. And um, I get off a phone call. About this horse. I was a train that, you know. I mean, the trader was there. It's a whole The boy can't be, can't beat that horse. Horse get claimed that day. Just for that one word, you know. And it's, it's good to share this here on national TV, man, Sean. I was a train that when that when a horse get claimed. And the trainer was there with me. By the And he was the, he was the, yeah. the man clearing the heart. Horse come by him. I went and got money hard. I said, oh, they got that boy beat this here. I go on Ramsey, you know, Ramsey horse coming. Ramsey said, he can give me all these boys in Canada. He can give me all these boys in Canada. That's <laughs> I get my best friend horse. The horse can't lost. He might have any race. It's a long any race. I don't know, it runs away at the road. That's me though. The next year though, Jalon don't want to ride the horse. So Pierce caught me one morning. That's why don't that that's what turned relationship between me and he up to this day. Right? That little boy Jalon. He little cocky little boy. So Robert called me I didn't on vacation. Mazi man can't get on this horse, man. Jalon wanna ride this horse. And I can't enjoy right there. And the man is a good man to be, et cetera. You know the PR work. I come in there now, my helmet now. I walk in there now, 25th of February. I go and get my horse and let's jog one slow can of one. You know, we, we, we jog his horse. He only take horse five. He go on slow can of one. You know, he messages the man, he disrespect me. La, 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 la. He licked the bar off of our pairs. It's been straightforward now. I hear what he my horse, you know. You see, man, they respect he. I come back in out. Pierce fuming. My dog fuming. So I, I run in. I get back and I see Robert. I see the body. I run in a joggy horse. Run in a half. I stuck in her. When I get back and I see Robert, I know a sign going around. I go into my truck. And I see him, Pierce. So I ain't calling him. So I leave you. Because Robert is scared a little bit. Get, he's, he's get hyper too fast and then he calm down, he's okay. So I get back and see Robert. I had to go over and I see Robert. Robert and the owner, and he's fighting. 
Jalon already in Arsenal. But Jalon called him my train. I said, oh, he disrespect me. Let me get my horse. And Robert well, here, all we here waiting for. So Robert should try to get me to kind of get on the horse. Cut your story short. Robert well, asked me, has he waiting for? I said, Robert, well, I need a fit, nothing like that. I need a vacation. So I put Afi Ward. I think Afi Ward. Afi went third with it. Jalon horse ran last. So I, I come back now next week now. And I need to exit the horse every day. It's a pure horse can't have to go cut though. Then Ramsey bringing this other horse. Ramsey bringing the horse now. It's a pair of horse can't lost. Jalon got a ride, you know. So I tell Pierre, don't give about this ride. He disrespect you. You know what Pierce tell me, Sean? Mm. He should get me with the man. This is what I swear on my life. What Pierce tell me, has he got a key about this ride? About to meet every key this ride? Because I go cut the horse ride last, 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 right? So when I feel ride the horse, I think I feel ride the horse, the horse ran third. But the horse is shine after about a year. Unfortunately, uh, so breezing horse, breezing, uh, galloping horse every morning. Says the horse ran third. Even going into the horse when the horse ran third into the go cart. And I get on the horse, get on the horse. And I commit to Ramsey. You know, you might see sending horse to Canada. That's what they're sending horse racing. It's all about winning and riding the best horse. And, and, and like, as the horse racing is gone, you, you will learn it. You will learn it. And that's how I learned. And then money Ramsey, you know. So he, that little boy went with that horse, and I buy my Ramsey. Ramsey come a horse again, and I, I my Ramsey, and I, and I tell him my best friend, the horse can't lose, you know. That horse went to go cops, and I ride it, you know, and they met a clean that horse, you know. They called me and treat that, you know. I said, they ain't gonna boy carry me to beat that horse. That horse run a big great once, and run a big thirst, 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 thirst. Last of the horse running in bar, in Canada, that horse ran second in, in the automobile, you know. Mm -hmm. well. And I dropped the horse in, and Pierce called me. Uh, so I didn't see the form, the horse running. But when I see, that's the horse form. I, I didn't know who was training the horse or nothing like that. It's only after I was telling you about the training horse. And I said, oh, shit, what was the brand that you met before? So then I met Robert Clear, Brian H. Horse. It's, it's when I see the horse numbers and bears and wrists is running. I didn't even know who was the trainer. And the horse went two back to back book cups. And he was in the right yard. Even he went with it the year before. He next year he didn't want to rate it. And Robert Pierce was honest with he in terms, not honest with he. He soon met Robert, get the owner. And Robert stayed with he. Robert could have rate any boss by that horse. Sean swear on my life. And I ride, I ride in my horse. And I had three speed horses in front of me. And my horse is speed, or I dumb behind them. And I fight for the horse, fight for the horse is done. And they get sticker, sticker, sticker. And my last, 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 and after the bell was up front. And the Barbados knocked me for fire. I said, boy, we never ride another race in Barbados. I was called above me. I ain't going to for it, Sean. Go ahead. So, so you're done with Barbados, you say? So, that answer uh, the question yeah. about yeah, the, the walkout? Yeah, boy, Dang. I wrote that. I wrote, I wrote that race. Sean, my career died, you know, Sean. I want to come at home and teach you little young boys something, man. But that race hurt me, though. Man, the, the, the public called me every name in the Bible. When they wrote, when they wrote that horse, and they get beat. Patrick. Oh, Les Dean. Oh, Les Dean. Les Dean, yeah, I said 30 years ago or 20 years ago, I would get out. Some boy never left Barbados. Let me go forward now. Well, I want to move forward, but I want to ask you this question. Do you pay a lot of attention to what the public say about you? No, no, you can't deal with the public. You can't deal with the public. You can't deal if, if What happened is, let me mean straight for you, right? <clears throat> the public was getting to me. Especially, especially um, people that who you think is your friends. And then um, I had a lot of meetings with Mark Cassie. And that man, that man made me hold this today, and et cetera, et cetera. And Mark said, Patrick, people are jealous of you. I control your mouth and don't say nothing, and this and that. And control your hot temper and control everything. And da 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 da. And I start thinking, blah, blah, blah. and then 
the management over by a guy called Steve. He called me office. And he said that, you know you're making more money than the Prime Minister of the United States of America a week? You mean Steve Lim? The f- yeah. This is the words you might tell me, you know. You might tell me, you know you're making more money than the Prime Minister of the um, United States of America? You as a franchise of what boy. And you gotta hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. So any man tell me so short. Mm-hmm. Well I don't understand that I make it forty thousand dollars a week. And Sean, I, if the man tell me that it cause you gotta understand, Sean, and 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 and, 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 and this is what we want here. And this is what the world wanna un- understand and, and, and we the world want here. When you're making 40, 30 thousand dollars a week. And people can you validate it. You can't wait for none of the top trainers because you are black. And 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 these is people the top writers, you know. Right? They know when you're about being prejudiced. And then the only body in the world that who helped you is white people. Mm-hmm. And your father was black and your mother was white. Where you stand now, Sean? Talk to me, Sean. <laughs> Both of y'all talk to me. Where that's a ver- that, for, for me, I would tell you that that's a very confusing place to be. I would not want to be Patrick Husband's at that point. I'll be honest with you. My mother, you know my mother, my mother come, makes a whole family. My mother's a white woman. And my father's a black woman. Sorry, my father, my father black is black and my mother white. And, he, and my, my, my grandparents are white. And we come mix with my family. My grandmother had nine kids. We come mix and they call you with black. Right? You went through that whole procedure. Then you come to Canada, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So from Barbados, when I was 13 years old, I hang out with all the white boys. And I, I, I become I become adopted with the white people. I moved to Canada, the white people made me who is today. And then you having this negative, negative. And then people get say, you don't like black people. People get say, you don't like white people. So where are you starting in life and you trying to make it to the top and you make it to the top and then you have white people saying oh you are black people but black people say you are white people but are you win the most championships you win the most championships you win the most championships what was the case how, how long will it take you to write for samson farms so you, you're going back too far, but the um, I you're going back too far. You I ain't going back too far. I talking facts. Yeah, but you talking facts, but you gonna understand. It. Um, and let me get straight. Let me get straight here, right? When I moved to Canada, Ricky and um, Ricky and Sean and everybody was there before me, and everywhere I go, every night club, bar, outside of racing, it don't have to be a bar. It's Bermuda, Bahamas, and Jamaica. Bermuda, Bahamas, and Jamaica. And nobody knew where Barbados was. Mm-hmm. When I went there in 95. Now we get straight. 95. So that's 27, 26 years ago. Bahamas, Bermuda, and Jamaica. Right? Barbados, the part, what part, bar, what part of Jamaica, Barbados was, as well, we see right. here. Right. So, 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 Wall Street Point, scene 11. So now you want to come now. You know, we have a black writers from the Caribbean. You know, we have a black writers from the Caribbean. I just represented Sean, right? Not being saying that Sean Hall is prejudiced. I just represented Sean. So, so you have a black writer like myself, and you have an Emil, Ricky, and stuff like that, et etc. et cetera, et cetera. I just represented before me. So you have, they have all the top writers, Sandy, all the blacks, all of them there. You really feel like people are going to put, put you in front of them there. <laughs> Sean, let me just get let me just get face it. Let me get face it. Let me get face it, Sean. Come but on. You pretty Sean, much had Sean. to tear you had to tear the tear but, tear down the walls. Teddy bark every day. Yeah. Yeah, no, Teddy bark. Yeah, Teddy bark. Teddy but bark. But you were winning though. You were you were doing well. You were doing well. I, you know, it, it took them a long time, man. Sean, you see you? You nasty you know. You won't hear these words anymore. You nasty you know. You you see you. You nasty, you know, Sean. Sure, you nasty. I can hold it down. You nasty. I want to hear the truth. Ain't nothing but be nasty. I just hear the truth, boss. But not nasty, though, Sean. Not nasty. Because I came out of the world mine this year. 
And let me let me let me face it though. I always had a goal that make it. I want to get the money. I come out and have a regular school. But uh, when you wear that, you see one of the police, you want a daughter, da da da. And uh, when you wear that, you want the police, the daughter, la 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 la. You understand? It's about falling like, and we making money and, and making your family happy. Is what it is, what it is, right? But that's one of my little goals, though. It's a good Canada. I make a little money. I come out here. I, I hope I can teach some boy, etc. Ain't work out that way, though. Because my horse racing went on too long. But I can tell sign. Right, Sean? That little question that you was just saying just now. Right? Robert Charles Landry. Todd Kill, Ray Sabrin, uh, etc. behind him. This is what you want to hear, but I like to be straight. We know our bands. I get my word by now, I gonna face them. My criteria um, after three years, um, when I remember Chutney. Oh, yeah, the horse called Chutney when I went in Derby. Chutney, Chutney, thanks already. Yes, when I went six, six, I went 60 races. And so I went right here in the prep, ran, ran last, and they come at me, Derby with her. I left here. And I say, I will be a champion back in Canada. So that was three years later. And I keep rolling, rolling, winning, winning from them. And Robert Charles Landry, Todd Cable, Ray Sabrin. And um, who you want to call behind him? You cannot ride for none of these big old face because you are black. And them guys keep pressuring me and keep training in my face. And you know what, Sean? That made me a champion. Robert Charles Landry, and I want to hear the interview. I want to hear the interview. You, Robert Charles Landry, how to care about dead, and we're suffering out of racing. And obviously, you cannot write for the rich people call you. Hmm. And they prove it. Did you really say that? Oh, man, the third telling me so. Hmm. And I'm proud to say that on this interview, right? And he is work for Chief Wood. And the Senator went through the most pressure of wood by me. And then Mark Cassie. Todd Cable with them will go and tell Senator, oh, you own and, and the only boy say right now is me. So if I write three horses, say all the other writers writing all the other horses. So in three horses. But just because of my two or my three little horses I write a say, they're winning. And I said got about 20 horses, you know. My two little pigs, they were there for state, or three little rats, they were there for state. Pig rats. And they winning, 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 winning. Oh. And now he's telling my agent, um, Leroy Trotman, oh, Patrick's not training anymore. He ran 2,200 races at Woodbine. 2,200 races at Woodbine. And ride 24,000 horses. Husbands ride 19,000. I ran nearly 4,000 races. And tell me that I'm not trained. These things is hurt. Because you got to understand, Sean, I'm human like you. And you ain't half the match races as me. And telling people that would buy and train. And said that only ready me. In the last two years, telling my agent that I'm not trained. And who many the most races for you in the last two years? Respect me, man. Sean, let me move on. I want to hear this. Wow. I think I think it's gonna be heard. Man, Sean, it's straight. Oh, oh, yeah, I, I didn't even know that that kind of that kind of um uh I would call it aggression happens inside the jockey room. I didn't know that. All of we we the only sport in the world that all we go back in the same room. But at the end of the day, as you find the Caribbean, horse racing. You can't in a front leg, touch a horse back leg, you can fall down. So, Sean, I explained this to you, but when the horses left the gates, we have to get a sardine can. So before the five kids, in, five fish in a pan, if you understand right now, it's only three fish in a pan. So now it's 14 horses going to get a pan to go around the corner, and 14 horses got to finish. I how big the field is now. So you can't attach no heels, attach no heels, you just got to make everything work. And there's only one winner. That's how it is right now. It feels bigger. Hmm. And that's for the gambling. And that's what make horse racing pay the bills. 
Let's move forward, Sean. Next question. Sean Law. <laughs> I think Sean is shocked. Cheers. Sean, Sean, <laughs> cheers. That brownie, <laughs> the brownie talking now, Sean. The brownie talking. You want some water now, Sean? You're speechless. I've been drinking. Oh, wait, hang on. I Before we move, water. Okay. Okay. I got this question for you, and this is off topic a little bit, just about the brandy. Because, Patrick, you got such a beautiful voice. Because uh, most jockeys that we see or hear, you know, their voices are not as strong as yours. Is that the Hennessy? That's the no, brandy. No, no. What what is that? What makes no, your no, voice no, no. so beautiful, Patrick Husband? No, 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 no. Since I was born, I was on a follower. I was a leader. A leader. Right? And I don't do interviews because it irritates people. Uh it, it, it's, horse racing is not for interviews for jockeys. Because you gotta be careful what you say, etc. You you've you, a jockey can't do interviews, so I has learned that in the past. So would buy, I read a would buy, and it can't get me do interviews. So on, unfortunately, when it kind of state races, you gotta do interviews. But throughout the summer and uh, doing all this, here, can't do interviews because if you say one little word, it camera worms, hmm. right? So I do an interview in two things, showing a little. Diggy have here and my brother for disrespecting me. But other than that, I will not do this interview. Because tomorrow, it doesn't matter who hear this interview or who see the interview. The it is it's the negative things. And you cannot do an interview and you in horse racing. Like Sean, Sean can say anything right now because he's not in horse racing. But I I straight forward and gonna bang. And you can ask me any question I ask you. You can ask me about any trainer I can ask you because I ain't got no bang. No bang. I just patch your husband. Love me and respect me for Straight who I am. Straight down the line. Straight down the line. I, I, I ain't got no bang. Well, I, I can tell you one thing about you, Patrick. A lot of people that I hear from around the way, you know, they love you. And you. they say you put on such a big... Um, some people call it a feast uh, at your place. So you're so involved in the community. And, you know, with all that rock star is on you and providing for the, the community, man, it, it makes you who you are and it shows who you are. You know what I mean? You gotta so give people, back. You got to give back. You got to give back. Definitely. You got to give back. If, if, let, me, let me tell you something, right? <clears throat> it has broke every bone. I mean, I mean, Sean and Sean and show you that I had brought everything in me, right? And the Lord got me living. And I said, Oh, well, 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 he ain't ready for me yet. But the amount of chance he gave me, oh Lord, I saw he didn't give the rest of the world the chances. I went there after so much times. And what, what he didn't give the rest of the world? There's so many people that pass away that only had one chance. He said, Cat got nine lives. I got about 35 already. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> but to the point that I I believe in this here, you gotta get back. And you see every Monday, everybody's what you want is party, 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 party. You a party animal. Some of my let me tell you something. And you and you and you. Don't come back. You see every Monday, I'm going to get seven hours in the kitchen. Now people who can't go home, people under stress, lose the wife, kids, this, that, this, that. This is what I love. This is unity. This is respect. I can cook, wash, put away everything. Da, 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 da. I don't invite nobody. Your aunt, your uncle come from Barbados, St. Lucia, Grenada. I don't invite nobody. And to me, I feel up to this day, all the chances the Lord has given me, he has given me into horse racing, but he love a part about me, giving back to society that nobody don't have to go to Barbados. Barbara, this is in at Patrick Husband's house and the Caribbean. Sure, you are right. Listen, what you saying there is so true because I can go back a little bit to a conversation I had with Steve Lim one time about you. And he told me, he said, Sean, I love Patrick Husband's. He said, that guy that give back to the community, that guy <laughs> went buy a big house. You gotta go and buy a big car. And I think 
you get respect for that type of, you know what I mean? You're in bed and like kind of hoard your money and I'll buy a, 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 a thing. And I remember him telling me so one time, that I, I know I always spend a lot of time, Steve. Always mm. say, this guy is always give back to people, you know? He had this thing at his house every Monday. And anybody could come at you. The only thing oh, I was disappointed oh. one time when I carry, remember the carry your TV? Man, you carry everything. Man, let's carry everything. Let's carry everything. But the end of the day, that's... Oh, that, I that, that, I, 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 but, 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 Sean, but let's carry everything. But that, that don't stop my man, the parties. Do you want to say the mm -hmm. car carry parties? Oh. Do you want to say the car is good? I tell her so. Tell you. Let's carry cheese. Let's carry everything. But the end of the day, right? Sean, do you want to say the car is very good? But you know? I didn't like that. So, yeah, it's all right. so not even so not even the females can carry you here, Patrick. Listen to me. My dog here we do. We see ten that party down. I'm a basic man here. Let's pack up, clean up. Let's do I mean, I, I mean, I'll be honest, I respect. Listen to me. The best song that by ever Lagoa in Barbados. Lagoa in my house. Red plastic bag. When any entertainers, anybody come to Canada, then make sure that Monday's is at my house. I you respect that. I'm by camera house. So has the boy got one for your boy? Later on, later on, later on. Hey, boy, sing it. We having a good little time. So I always got my DJ every year. I mean, every Monday. Bye. And uh, Bye was playing for me for years now, over 20 years. And uh, Bye said, boy, Bye going low speed. Yeah, we got one for the Something happening. <laughs> Jesus, the biggest hit that Ray Flash about ever had. Something happening. Now, nah, actually, that scene here really go a cop, too. Something happening. Remember, bike scene is some kind of coming out. Something happening. Sean, remember that song? And of course. Big song, boy. Yeah, big song, boy. That's what we host. Yeah. But well. I'm trying to find uh, a serious question, a serious question, but Patrick, you just got that thing about you that makes me just want to listen. <laughs> <laughs> Man, listen, the only question I got for you right now, tell the Barbados going to get a lot, tell the Barbados apprentices and tell the Barbados jockeys going and get a Canadian lawyer. It's not the respect. It's going on for years, right? But I heard. Yeah. Right. I, what, I, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Why can I ask you? Does it matter if it's apprentice coming now or uh, open jockey? It doesn't matter. In. Sean, Sean is not right. Mind. Sean is not right. Right. And I, I don't go in no meetings. They can't get me no in no meetings. I would buy a restaurant. No jockey meetings. None. Nah, nah. Can't send a race. Can't send. Sean is years. I was out of that. I go with the floor. Cause my name always getting mentioned. So this years, this, this is over 15 years. Jockey's got any meetings, they can't get back. Cause my name is always getting mentioned. I, I, I don't get involved with that. And may respect that. So it doesn't matter who come, 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 come. I go with Floyd. It doesn't matter how bad the track is, how much rain falling, how much snow falling. I go in there right. I, 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 I don't want any drama. I don't want any drama. So I don't get involved with that. Cause my name always getting, I, but this come about 15 years ago. I don't, I go with floor. If I don't really try, I will buck off. But I don't, I don't get involved with that. I'm saying to the, the Barbadian writers that, and I'm saying to the Barbadian household, and I'm saying to the, the, the community of the Caribbean, not only Barbados, you know, Sean, but Barbados is more tight into Canada. Mm -hmm. Canada owns nearly everything in Barbados. And, and let me tell you something. We will say, we're not we. The Bellevue Prison and the Bellevue Airport and the one in power and the the one a lot of things in Barbados. Canada is not owned by British anymore. Forget about independence. Canada is owned by Barbados. But I tell you this year right now. How you got a jockey from Germany, Japan, South America, England, Europe, Korea would buy. And Canada owned Barbados. And they only got the Barbadian writers going only write the Western Canada. And there's five race tracks. We over to Vancouver. And the last 30 years, uh, now nah, they backtrack. Last 25 years, 
Barbados dominated last four years, Sean. This is supposed to be your topic that you don't research. In the last 25 years, the Barbadians dominate the, the five race track, dominate four race tracks. And the camera that would yeah. buy. But Chinese, they Japanese, Portuguese, and all over the world. Listen to me. If you go to more right now and see a Japanese, you can write a word by. But not your Canadian. And Canadians own Canada. And this is what North America got to understand. This calling me here, it's not British anymore. Forget what independence in 1966. This calling me here right now is owned by the Canadians. And if you bring this to the government of Ontario, Canada. I don't know what it down Listen, here. listen, no, no, no. I have been fighting to have a cabinet here in Barbados, okay? I have also said that our government should be able to talk to the Canadian government, to let the Canadian government know what Barbados have done, especially at Woodbine, because I always thought- Not Woodbine, Bob, Sean, stop it. There are five race tracks in Canada. Yes, but Forget we Vancouver. For Erie, we the champions the last 25 years. Yes. Western Canada. Yes. Yes. We know that. We know that. But so don't why, mention Woodbine. Uh, you mentioned Woodbine, it's past your husband. So don't mention Woodbine. This show you know is not about your husband. This is about. You, right. you have to get people. You have to be able to get people to come there. You have to. But she, but she, Instead well, of going but, out west. That's what I'm trying to say. But, but Sean, there's no law. A Canada, then it, that they should be stopping Barbados from coming that's to what, Woodbine yeah, Race Track. But to this say. is what them are scared the Barbados for kind of Woodbine. I said they could work for Barbados. That is garbage. I, I tell you this here. That is garbage. You you have you have two Chinese there. You have the Americans. You have Portuguese. You have the whole world. I tell you, go on like a. What by jockey list? I know that it's not, and uh, and, and it's, it's lacking. Canadian. I'm telling you that you got papers for Canada to write a word by. Excuse me, but Sean, I swear it down. This is your little show here. You do what you gotta do here. So, so they don't need papers to write down less. No, you get like no. you get work permit. Work permit. It's not Canada, it's not the same rules. Anyways, no, let's, but, oh, yes, yeah. let's move yes, forward. Yes, yes. I, I don't understand that, but maybe we should oh, move well, forward. No, 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 no. Chinese, Japanese, the whole world go right at Woodbine. Mm. With a work permit. But not Barbadians. Barbadians got to travel to Western Canada. So we have the Barbadians in Fort Erie. This is Ontario. Right? Canada. Mm. Winnipeg, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. We dominate all the racetrack. How big is Barbados? So they won't let them in Woodbine, but that is not the Canadian law. As uh, Ontario, that, Woodbine law, oh, I don't know. No, 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 that is what it's saying. Uh, so, I, I kinda, so I, I kind of get what you were saying all along from, from the time you start the show then, um, get a lawyer. Get a lawyer, they can't stop you. I kind of get it now, I get it now, I understand now. All, all you want is a lawyer. And it's a lot more clear. Right. Yeah, there's no way you can let in the whole world and you can't let in Barbados. I can't own Barbados. It's, it's an error. But it's the first to speak out, though. So, Patrick, since you said that you're going to be coming back and writing this year, are you going to be picking and choosing your mounts or are you just going to come right? No, I can't say can't write. Right. I hear my Cassie, my dad. Which I respect. Um, two days before you meet, I say, Dan, Mara asked me if I was drunk. I said, Nah, boy, his shit. He said, But you, 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 you can't walk away. He's a, he's a franchise of wood buying and franchise of wood buying and the Caribbean, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. My, my, problem, my, problem, my problem here, and let me be straight at you, right? <clears throat> I had a good um, campaign in horse racing and I was mashed up. So I know I got a lot of pains to deal with and stuff like that. I'm not ready to retire. I don't feel that like there's nobody in the world love for us, which is like me. And Sean, I'm being respect. I don't feel nobody love for us, which is like me. So when you hear that part, I'm ready to retire. 
But I write the retard, I teach people to write in short terms. And that's what we want to do. So I, I, as I was saying earlier in the interview that when I leave Canada, I always figure that I can go to make some money and come out and teach people to write. But Sean, <clears throat> I never tell you this yet, right? And yeah, they had the kids at my house, Rockwell born, and then my house on Monday. Ricky Walker, et cetera, et cetera. Ricky ran about four or five championships. And when I started getting brass stocks, as you know in Barbados, we got brass stocks. When I started getting nitty gritty about horse racing and, and they talked to us about getting the gifts and they talked to us about how the farmers change. But it's a different level. And and, and this is what we want to share. I, I don't want many cricketers. As I say again, you know, they, back in the day, cricketers didn't get to pay, the cricketers didn't get to pay no money. And and now it's time now they got to get back in terms of you get the money because you all get more money. But right now, in my times, the money was big in terms of horse racing. So for me, it's not pay back. It's time for me to get out there and get the bitches and the Caribbean people better than me and do little videos and stuff like that. Yeah, because that's why I don't want to 20 years for now my daughter can say and my son can say, oh, daddy made you have a crown like this and this and this. I want... A lot of Caribbean people in the whole world wake to a country. I'm here to share. I ain't, this, I ain't got in the six feet deep, and I ain't sharing that. And copy that, Sean. I agree 100% of it, man. Especially at the level you're at. That's all you could do now is share your what you have done to be great. I don't have no problem with that at all. You know what I mean? Also, you do a lot of cooking. When would the first husband's restaurant open in Canada and, and Barbados? I get that name already. Husbands. Sean, sure, oh, let me tell you something. That's all my kids. All my kids have got open there. Restaurant is a horse racing. No boy don't stop complaining. And <clears throat> I have nice, right? But I'm you be cooking for people now for Hello, they don't pay me food. Don't pay me. Sean, they don't pay me food. They don't pay don't me food. So, <laughs> so if you don't pay food, don't if you don't complain. You ever, you ever hear somebody get free food and complain? Listen, like this person. They're saying, they're saying Patrick is so competitive, right? That's why people, yeah. Patrick is so competitive that he's going for the record Longest person on this show. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Sean, I go on, Sean, boy. Go on, boy. Sean, you go on. Listen, he don't sleep. He was talking yeah, yeah. since the coffee morning. He was not sleep. All he's want is somebody else to be up and here to talk. So I know, guy. Oh, listen, 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 let me get straight on the right, Sean. Let me get straight on the right. Let me get straight, both of y'all. Horse racing, right? Sean, do you know how serious it is at horse racing, Sean? You don't know what to tell me? Listen, Sean, I don't want to stick, Sean. Listen, listen. Sean, I don't want to stick, Sean. You forget you live at me for a, little, a, a, a short portion of your life. I'm out about, Sean. About, about, listen, that was just before me you. You may have bought your first house. Eh, you remember that? That was the day, boss. I don't forget them days. That Excuse the me, gentlemen. <laughs> Let me tell the love hitters. Y'all know anything about horse racing? Y'all know about the the the, <laughs> the hit, and y'all know the thin line between horse racing. Listen to me. See the love hitters out there. Wanna be here for yourself here? Anytime you get is here, because only one boy get you back first here. Sean, cheese on, bro. If we start a talk with horse racing, right? We will be here for tomorrow morning. So, you know what? Let me get my two little books and kick back. I, 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 I shining off. I go out with a list there. It's so long right now, Sean. Mm -hmm. I gotta get. I go with a list there. It's so long, right? 
and I'm proud to say this here, right? Mm -hmm. I have three secretaries and two managers, and I'm proud to say that. Mm -hmm. A little boy from Harris, yeah, living in North America, have three managers, uh, sorry, two managers and three secretaries. I only weigh horses, though. Yeah, but you, they, they got a lot of money to count, though. They got a lot of money to count. <laughs> ah. but Sean, but Sean, the, the people out there, why well, know we got yeah. all these managers and why got all these here, right? But ain't yeah. there any writing? You got to be investing your money, though. I'm going right? to ask you, is, 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 are the books completed yet or are you still working on them? No, it's, I, I was saying it, Sean, I don't do interviews. I let it be straight for it because... When you're in this game, it's a negative and a dirty thing. So right now, I do the interview tonight. Who are work and when I, when I see a publish, the who are work go off. And in, in every industry, you walk on, on, on um, glass and eggshells, or uh, we would call it um, soap powder that you're gonna fall down. You know what I'm saying? And and <laughs> you know what? It ain't supposed to be that way. It's Supposed to be sharing, sharing. What Sean and know, we all know, we all know. That like, we, I got Michael here. That Michael can't talk. That Michael's a horse. How can we get this here right before it's spoiling? You understand what I'm saying, Sean? And that's what we need to share. Any day, know we can't share how much Michael's you right. You know, you know, so we got to learn to share and, and take these chips off of these shoulders and 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 try to figure out how can I get my son good. How can I get my daughter good? People, people go a little and 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 respect and love one another, man. Sean, I'm gonna hold it down, man. I was here too long. Don't. Um, what do you mean you're here so long? I mean, we enjoying the show. People are saying don't no, leave I, yet. I, I enjoy the show. I enjoy the oh. show, but I, I enjoy the show. I enjoy the show. I, I love it, man. I just want me to I want to ask you something, Patrick. What, what's the, ahead, what's, the, what's the what's the typical day? For Patrick husband, like what when you when you just not like what's a, a, a normal kind of day for you, man? Um <clears throat> I'll be honest. I, I I just tell you, Sean, let me get straight, man. And the public. I don't have a normal day. If if I need guarding, I'm a guardian. Oh, the animals. You know what I mean? I like animals bad, bad, bad. I like my animals. You know, I got my fowls, every chicken in Canada. So I know it's not a word. I got my pigeons, everything. I don't mean any house. I don't like TVs, nothing like that. I don't I don't like watching TV about documentaries, about the world, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I like my cooking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I going back, want to see entries out, entries out, entries out, entries out, entries out. I gonna watch races and watch races and watch races and watch races and watch races. Because what happened with my career is Barbados, Trinidad, Martinique, Canada, California, New Orleans, Kentucky, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. <laughs> that the strain be, between there. And if you go back, I like to be straight. I, I like to go with everything because this technology right now, you go back to Trinidad, you go back to Barbados, the two wings in one year, you go back to Trinidad, and you go back to Martinique, and you go back to every try, right? And I have one of the averages in the United States of America, and I probably say that. Trinidad, the highest average, Barbados, you go back, you go back, you go back. I don't have to come out and tell people this yet because this interview is not about this, you know. This interview is about moving to Canada and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I, I, do, I don't sleep. <laughs> I just read, read, and read, and read, and reading, and, and where it's supposed to be. Because you got to understand, when you're reading a racing form in North America, A, B, and C, there's nothing, there's nothing, a, B, and C. Anything you see, A, B, and C, any behind C, you have problems. And that is, that is here. 
that is here because you can't come back. My Sean calls me weird. Harry calls me weird. Where he calls me weird. Tommy calls me weird. It's only one winner. And you got 13 horses in the race, 14 horses in the race. Always remember, half of them guys want Patrick Husbands. And at the end of the day, it's only one winner. Sean is only one winner. And that was, I was doing that my whole life, whole life. And that is what made me competitive. I'm out. Right. No, listen, before. Listen. Oh. Before you go, these young writers here know. Who do you rate most of these young writers here now? And you say here, what do you mean? Like in, in, in Barbados? Oh, uh, Woodbine, okay. At uh, Woodbine? Yeah. Oh, look at right. So you like all them then? Yes. Because um, back in the day, you know, you and Cable and, and, and Eureka and those guys, you know, were always, but these guys, these young lines here now seem to be. So Barbados or you talk? You talk North Americans. We talk about now. I told you, you're, you're racing, you're racing, you're writing Colony at Woodbine. Oh, everybody handling handling good. Um, um, you know, it's a my street. I want to bench, and I, I, you know, you know, what it is. Jelly, as I told into his face, you you are actually Nikki Walls. Nikki Walls is sensitive in my times, coming there, and et cetera, et cetera. He's a Nicky Walls. Horse run to he, but he's not strong no he I saw Jet Li being Jason Hoy. I just want people that yeah. don't are yeah, not familiar yeah, to yeah, know yeah, exactly yeah. who you're talking about. Yeah, okay. yeah, Jason yeah. Hoy. And what by like no faces? Mm -hmm. What by like no faces? You're not strong no he And I tell him, oh my, I being straight up with you. You remember me straight off Nicky Walls. Nicky Walls come and talk with Lane, all the way in Lane. Nicky Walls don't cut the stick, nothing like that. And you can't buy Nicky Walls. But if you go a little battle, Nicky Walls, you can beat it all the time. Mm -hmm. I said, well, man, what about like your faces? You are going to practice on that horse in there. Like it, a uh, lump it. Mm -hmm. You work on the horse, work on the horse, you see, and they say, get a rhythm, on a race, and go with the rhythm. Go with the rhythm. That's not go there. Two, three minutes, and done. Pawn a race and tip. Bang your knees and squat and play you right in the waist, so the waist, 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 the waist, die and strengthen everything and da, 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 and get you rid of And when you made a bit of summer, he's working. And mm -hmm. if you have horses running for you and you need a little portion, you're good to go. So I got one for you, right? Goffrey, mm -hmm. tell me one there, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and this is, this is, this is, this is, uh, coffee tell me two things, you know. And then the Barbados Turf Lab industry have this thing about them right now, right? And I observe it too, right? <laughs> Goffrey Griffiths told me this year, like 31, about 28, 29 years ago. Goffrey Griffiths told me this year, if you're in a jockey, you look like one. Come on, Sean. I would not wear out my decent clothes to no party. I can't race. I can't be trapped for the morning riding right horse. Look pretty, 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 pretty. <laughs> you mind tell me if you're a jockey, look like a jockey. <laughs> Let me tell you, something. you see all my good clothes? I ride the horses in. Right? I come back to Barbados in the last 24 years. Jockeys don't see anything now. You will never see, you will, you will come to the Garrison racetrack. And you go to any part of the world, South America, La, La, anywhere, what by any, you will never see a jockey. But I fall apart, your husband, you know. I ain't saying this here, but I tell you this here. Cause in Barbados and Trinidad and anybody tell you, you never see my pant on my shirt. And you will never see no Barbadian jockey at the garrison with a pants. And that kind of golf, you know. That kind of golf, if you're a jockey, Look like one. You ain't never worried, Goffrey. Tell me. So you know, you never worried, Goffrey. Tell me. <laughs> <sighs> oh, 
Or every husband that right into there. Right? Every husband that right into there. The head has got 90 miles per hour. How can you see what's going on in the race and you head going like this? Goffy Griffith. You? you got the wrong person, man. Well, you say every husband's. Every husband's. All springs. All of them. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. All of them. Goffy told me this here. You're supposed to put. This is what Goffy Griffiths told me, you know. Listen, the man of day, the man of living. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to hear you say this. I mean, you can hear it. He said it. The man said you're supposed, you're supposed to put a bottle of champagne glass on your back and you're supposed to spill when you're on a horse. The man is so right, right? The man tell me to do that. And I put my back straight to your heart for a whole week with no bang. Mm -hmm. I'm the only husbands in the world right now. There's about <laughs> 15 of them there. My brother, Anthony, all the head got this here. How can you focus in a race so you head got 90 miles per hour? Listen, uh, <laughs> how important it is for you getting that sort of information from one of our veteran, great veterans? Sean. And how many husbands are there? Nah. There's about 15 of them. All I had to do is all up. I'm in the blast, it good. All I had to do is all We have, I have about, about four of them here. I saw. And when That's I hear the interview, and when, it, when I hear the interview, they can put a head on a still so I do that for a week. <laughs> I put a bag of onions on it, but I use up. I can backtrack now. I can jump you, you know, Sean. Cause you see, got me punished, Sean. You got me wind up. Talk, boss, talk. Talk, talk. Let me tell you something now, right? Let me backtrack here now. Mm. You go to every race track, and you hear when I call the writers. He ain't a good. 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 Uh, I know. See what he's for, right? I know, see what he's favorite, what he's favorite, what he's favorite, what he's favorite. Mm -hmm. I don't understand what's going on. But as you, as a jockey, as brass stars, and, 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 and it's fun for me watching races. Don't say that Patrick has been spending years, 30 years about people, you know. It's Jesse, the, it's, it's losing this here, right? The strength from riding a horse is his steels. Mm -hmm. If you ride long, there's no strength in his steels. So when the horse is running, the steel is moving. You ride where you're comfortable. Right. So in other words, as the barber didn't say, riding too short. The trainer didn't say, riding too short. Jimmy didn't say, riding short. But you need to build your biceps. You need to build your, your, your on, on the hill. Right? Yeah. But you ride pretty short, though. You ride pretty short. I, I, I ride short. But Sean, I write at number not. Mm -hmm. Because I do things different. I'm a yeah, leader, yeah. not a right. follower. Mm -hmm. So I write at 31 years. Mm -hmm. And I would like you to go back in your history and Google every race that Patrick you haven't read at Google and see if anybody ever outfinished me down the lane. And that was my standard. And I always tell everybody, there's no way you can't catch me in. But you can't have cut me three for long or four for long and beat Patrick Husband. And I'm proud to say that. And I'm still, I'm still Patrick Husband. You retired Bring a race. me. You retired me. Huh? You retired me. But you understand, I'm not being cocky as North American. The, <laughs> the, the, the ball line is, my fun about horse racing. How cut me three for long out? I top it there, man. And see if you get past this Barbadian rider here. Mm -hmm. I lick the bar off of you, man. Because... Oh, you know, he tell me there is. You can weaken. So I can just go with the momentum. And he lost eight, nine strikes, he's done. And that was a punch. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, listen. <laughs> so, basically, all right, I heard today you told me you going to the gym. Do you do a lot of gym work to keep yourself in tip top condition? Or you naturally, you're a natural stallion, you're a natural. No, I no, 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 no. But it was yeah, backtracking with you. If you go to every race track, let's 
coincidence. Then tomorrow, both y'all can look. And then it's, yeah, who watching the video can look. Mm. And then you see when they call me horse and stuff like that. And then you can always look and see who riding along. Two to the one, four to the one. And then you see two to the one, three to the one. The riders ride a shark. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the strength comes from the steels. Mm -hmm. If you're riding along, you can't push the horse. When the horse running, it's like that. So that's a that's an old man mental. Oh, he went too short. He ain't too big. He this and that. Oh man, no. everywhere strap, the top right is right short. That's where the power come from, and that was that that is why he had 30, 30, 30, 20, 20 to thirty years above the riders. I tell oh, I always got you the holes. Is that advice you would give to somebody, or is it? That's no, 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 no. All thing. riders, you ride where you comfortable. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are really comfortable, but I can't say that to right where you're comfortable because ninety percent of the riders, the biceps, the 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 calves, everything is weak. So we have ninety percent of riders that are better than what it is. They're smart, intelligent horses running for them, but the legs are weak. I wanna ask you something about your um your your agent said that you have a nephew that's going to be writing at Woodbine. Do you want to share a little bit of information about him? Um, tell us a little bit about him so we can get used to him or do you want to pass on that? No, he, his father was Fazar Razak, which is my sister. So he, he entered the horse racing industry. He was born gifted and um i told my sister when he reached 11 12 years old he he would have to come candy with me then i'm a double up meal that's my only child la, 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 la. i didn't fall in line and he's in canada right now and um you know i'm dealing with races and i'm on high high level uh my industry a horse racing and i can't i can't deal with no teenager right now he, you know you're doing teenager stuff like that i can't deal with that and you're talking to you i can't deal with that so i don't have enough time with that but um he he's 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 born a champion and i'm sorry to say that right now and i hope nobody will take it the wrong way that i say that but he's a champion he's gifted he's he's naturally gifted but i can't deal with teenagers right now and I had to uh, let me go and find some place to go and live because I can't deal with teenagers, but he's gifted and he know that uncle is there for he and stuff like that. But that teenager life right now, and I'm here, you are here. I bring you here. I'm trying to help you and you do that teenager life. I don't have no time for that, but he's gifted. He he, he, he can be a champion. You can't take nothing away from him. He's a champion, but I can't deal with that teenager life right now. You know, I'm on my way out like that when you do a thing other things. I can't deal with that, but he's a champion and he's the future of Barbados and the Caribbean. Nice, nice, nice to hear. Um is there a future do you see yourself doing anything else besides riding horses as a jockey? Uh, besides a jockey, is there anything else that you will that you would probably jump right into because you have an excellent handicapper? Is there anything else? Yeah, I raise up my whole life with pig, sheep, goat, everything, you know. Farmer. Yeah, I, I a farmer. I was killing pigs when I was eight years old. My dad. So I was kind of killing animals, et cetera, et cetera. And I can't wait to get barbers to get my farm. And I would like to get back here this year to start my, my own industry. I'm, I'm not about writing anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's there and stuff like that. But once I get some salon here in Barbados and get my pig, sheep, goat, I roll it. So it could be, I could be back here in six weeks, seven weeks. You cows? I can't wait really to get cow, sheep, pig, goat. Listen, so my when issue we was here. When we was young series, right? We used to go, we used to always go away for Anthony to deal with the cows. He got one water the cows or milk cows. No, 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 no. Not Anthony milk the cows. Well, he has four then. cows, I milk all the cows. So don't, don't even go there. But listen. I sell the milk all listen. over hearts. Got that is right. You saw what I say, you now. Listen, <laughs> I don't know how old you was back then. But my brother still, had four cows and listen, I do all the milk it. Hello. All I the, sell all the milk all of the hearts. Got days. You wrote a pint and a half of milk for uh -huh. 150. 
I do all in milking, so don't go there. But if it's watering the cows, whatever he used to go and do, we had to go and wait for him. I, I didn't even, I didn't even know what side of a uh, cow Bobby is. He ain't saying that. That's it. That's it. We go on there, and instead of Ricky Griffin going there and keep your mouth shut, Ricky went and tell you. G class. You went and said. G class. Then, what about the cow? The cow no, he tell my father he got G class cow. He got G class cow. I only give, I only give, not even children milk. I do, I give, uh, uh, I cannot call that. My father hate it for life. He said, he said, Mr. Mr. Griffith, you can leave my yard. Mr. Hall, you are always welcome. Your father put Griffith out the yard. But call oh, him cow, G class cow. Yeah, and, so, and, and, and children milk. There's a one, a one percent cow, a one percent. No, cow. she's tiny whiny. She was near, she was near tiny whiny. Tiny whiny, tiny whiny, a black cow. You have a real set for Ricky. I'm saying this, the cow look a G class cow boy. Yeah, my hair, Ricky, my hair, Ricky, the day boy. Mister <laughs> Mister Griffith, you can leave my yard. You come in here criticizing my best milk cow. <laughs> I, 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 I get a lesson, a Jill. <laughs> Patrick, I want to ask you this, man. Um, are you an are you a, like a, a serious guy or are you a joker? What, what's what's your personality like? Oh Lord. Um, let me let me get straight. Oh Lord. I know Sean. You, I know you Sean. Ask this generation. I uh, listen. Sean always see the good side of Hazzy. <laughs> Sean, you, Sean, trust me though. You only see the good side. Of that. Let me get straight for you though. Um, I, I lived my whole life at Woodbine after my brother to Canada. Yeah. People don't like don't like me for my personality. I look miserable, this, that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day is a job. The fun is riding young horses, which I love. Riding horses is a job. And when a when a like when the groom like go a trainer. Put your pony horse, good luck. Or when he groom like you, good luck. It's not a lot, it's a business. Right? I like my job I would buy is bad horses. And even when you make it, it's bad horses. And bad horses never hurt me because I love them. And bad horses can't trim me down because I love it. 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 So I, I don't have no fun going to a racetrack and the horse is not bad. Once you tell me horse bad, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I get hurt all the time. We're not a bad horse. So that's that's true. And and that's my fun. That's my fun. I like to go down. I, I do like picture picture I speaking to you. Go down the road, you drive 40 miles, 45 miles per hour, and jump out your car. That's dead. <laughs> I, I my fun right now, I like speak to you. I like to go down the road with a horse right now. I'll be a lot free. Because that is my fun. And you say after all these years with the, the injuries and stuff like that. I didn't get the injuries from doing what I was love. I get these injuries from my business. If you understand what I'm saying. You understand me, Sean? I understand what you're saying. Right. So 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 when you backtrack, how do you you get mashed up doing your business? But then it'll be fun, you like you you understand what I'm saying. So this is what it is. Yeah, I, but listen. Getting all these injuries and coming back year after year, or when I mean, how does it? I don't know. I can't understand. I, I don't know how to explain how that feels to be because you have some real bad injuries, boss. You have some real bad. I mean, most men won't come back from them to tell the truth. So I begin to think, as somebody said earlier, you might be a bionic man. I don't know. Tell me. Sean is not bionic man. If y'all put me. Mm. I ain't being straight on your show. If you all put me, I would destroy the industry. Right? If you all put me, I probably would wait a month, a month and a half, two months, three months. If you all put me, I would go and destroy them there. Right? But as I say, you know, I don't want me to be a chair, man. Mm. I'm going to respect me for the hard work I do. But mm -hmm. if anyone a chirp, if anyone a chirp, 
you know how it is, Sean. Going, My best year I had was 2013. I went the first six state races, I went all six. Mm -hmm. I was destroyed them out in the spring. As the year you get hurt. But one stupid little horse there. That my agent when I put me pan for my 40th birthday party. That was a year. That was a year. A 60 really. Stuff. But let me tell you something. If 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 when a Barbados ever put the fans, so has he give you all we want you to be charming this year. Sean. I ain't gonna I want, someone is asking if you are uh, in the Canadian <laughs> Hall of Fame yet. Let's see more Bennett, man. Let's see more. I, I see Seymour a long time, but what's going on, Seymour? So I, I guess the answer is, is not yet, but I'm Who's sure that? he will be there. He will be there. If yeah, there, uh, Seymour is just asking if, if you are in the uh, Canadian Seymour. Hall of Fame. No, the Sega retired to be a Hall of Fame. Seymour, Seymour who? Seymour Bennett. Jamaica man. Now, you can go in the Hall of Fame, you got to retire five years. Mm -hmm. It's not in like North five America. No, North America, you write in, you can be Hall of Fame. But you can't be Hall of Fame of Canada and riding horses. So that's what that's what the job is because the trainers are Hall of Fame. Yeah, but as you know, everywhere you go is, is different, right? He's in, he's in Florida. Simon yeah. is in Florida. Yeah, yeah, man. He pay for way for Jamaicans. He pay for way for Jamaicans. Yes, but I see Simon a long time of his. But yeah, he was gone. He, he was gone for over oh, twenty years. Yeah, yeah. he's uh. I saw twenty years. Yeah, in Ocala. Yeah, in Ocala. He knows mm -hmm. he in Ocala. Mm -hmm. Simon worked the sales and thing, man. But I see more. Yeah, but I seen I seen I saw him in twenty years. You see him in twenty years, okay? Mm -hmm. My, what I just said. You remember what time we 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 um thing or thing for you um that was hard. I know, but your house. The last time I saw him was with, with your house. Okay, but I don't we, do, we had a thing for you um when you won some races. I think Seymour bought some things. Yes, was, but I'm cool saying months. to you, but your house. The last time I saw him. Okay. And Okay, Yeah. Remember they come over the house and they cook some food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last time, and that's about twenty years ago. All. Now, um, I guess I want to ask you some more, some more, some some questions about himself. Uh, I know there's a lot of jockeys that struggle with weight, but I've never really heard one year that Patrick had a problem with, with weight. So, how do you do it, man? I'm barely kidding, John. Man, <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, let me tell you something, right? <clears throat> I'm too big as a jockey, and um, I never put this to the public. Uh, I do everything bad, ugly, good, and Sean would tell. Um, <clears throat> um, what happened? Is that ugly? <laughs> I feel that his phone. I feel he killed the phone. I, I, I feel. I feel Mr. Husband's phone is dead. The, I think the you think the the four hours killed it. Yes, yes. I think the four hours killed our phone. A husband has, he's not been, it, it, it's amazing to see that he's been defeated by his phone, and not by him himself. <laughs> <laughs> he's willing to go. Love it. <laughs> he's willing to go. But the phone, the phone that I can see him now there, must run about, go and try to put some current in our phone to come back. Well, I know. If you don't come back in two days, we will have to go on the show over. I know Buju said Mina, Mina trust phone, so I don't know if it's the same kind of situation. You know what I mean? Of um, so what what are we going to do here, Sean? Um, I mean, the man talked for four hours, and I look like you. I tell you, if that phone didn't cut out. But your husband gonna talk to six o'clock tomorrow morning because that's how he is. He's going to online at three and four o'clock in the morning. I don't know the guy don't sleep. He always up doing something. So I I, I think that I want to um I want to sum it up then. Let's sum it up and um 
I think there's a lot to be learned, a lot to be noted from the show. Yes. Uh, I wonder for sure. I tell you what, in the last four hours that I met Patrick, he's a very, very competitive person. Yes, he is. And I now see why he's on the level that he is. Because, look, man, you got to be competitive as possible in any arena if you want to be great. Look, there's people, and there's no doubt about it. There's, there's people who say they're good. Yeah. But what about saying you're great? You know what I mean? Like it takes a special person, man, to to put that over that level. And I I don't know what it is because you just gotta have that extra thing in you, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I like he definitely got it. He you can say whatever him. you want about him or whatever you don't want about it, don't want to say about him. But he got it because oh. it's that extra thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I you, you get what I'm saying? And you always had it though. He always, yeah. had, he always showed yeah. up young. I mean, nothing, nothing. But you have to do on a horse surprises me. One bit. And I, I was waiting for him to, to say, well, you know, maybe perhaps in the future, probably you can teach some of these youngsters. But I realize even more now that's something that you can't even teach. Listen, you can. You gotta have some talent to begin with, right? But you can't make talent. You know what I mean? You can you got to have some sort of talent. And most most of the guys that you see who have done well. I mean, Quincy Welch, Ricky Walker, his brother, all these guys were talented. Chris Griffith, Ricky Griffith, all those guys were talented writers and, and, and got better in a bigger um, you know, I mean, setting of, of coming to North America and doing well, right? But the ordinary type of guys don't seem to, when you don't have it, you don't have it. You know what I mean? You find something else to do. You, you try to fit in in another section of the business that you will find each other. you could be good at. You know what I mean? But all those guys that have done well over here were always good. None of them wasn't half thing. They're all good. And some look at Rocker Boy now. You know what I mean? He's now doing going to a different level. Mm. But Patrick somehow stood out. You know what I mean? He 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 was always a few levels above everybody else at all at all all stages, man. The the one thing that I would like um like for the the, the Barbadian public especially uh the people in, you know just to accredit those guys who are really good at what they are you know you, you don't get great before being criticized criticized you know what I mean you don't you don't get to that level without some kind of scrutiny so like for for Patrick man um you know he definitely will be up there in the Hall of Fames and all that stuff yeah. and I definitely hope that some of his greatness can rub off on some of the other younger jockeys and they can learn because trust me, like he said, you know, like they will learn and they will be better. Like there will be somebody, you know what I mean? So uh, that being said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to a Monday night, one one, one night uh, over his place or so, you know what I mean? So Sean, anything else you want to um, add before we, we jump? Oh, shoot. You see, no, I don't see the message here from Ricky Giver, but... Ricky says, Sean, the original Monday night feast starts with him, and I argue over who had the better legs. So <laughs> we both wore skirts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got pictures of that. <laughs> I got pictures of that still. Lord, but I can't re When Ricky just said, message there, I remember they wore skirts and they did some real crazy things that night, boy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. These jockeys are crazy anyway, so <laughs> that's expected. Yes, I mean, no, but Sunday those things would be crazy, man. This thing, this part just to get real crazy, man. Especially when Griff used to be there, it used to be a different notch, different level. <laughs> but you know what? If, if Patrick is watching the show, uh, or if he watch it tomorrow, whenever, I just want to thank him for, for being. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to to do this, but I want to thank him for being on the show. Yes. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, yes. A lot of uh, info. It was very entertaining. Um, I, can, I now see why he's the, the, the man he is, uh, you know, so I want to thank him again, man. And uh, when he get th that book finally completed to come back and let's yes. talk about it. 
I'm pretty sure it's going to be even uh, wilder because at that point, I guess, you know, the book is going to be over. So, but he's brave, man. You know, what I mean, he speaks his mind, as you can see. He, he, he obviously, don't you know, he might offend a few people, um, but you know, he move on. And he's always been like this, right? Always. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thanks everyone for watching the show. Um, you know, until next time, um, peace. Good talk. Later. We are. All right. Good night.